Hey, hey, I'm fashionably early. Or I'm on time. I'm on time. I don't have my glasses, so I'll be back. Oh. Hey, Ashbell. I was walking through my room and saw this. It's a Balik cup. <laughs> and then this bag. I'm like, okay, I'll bring it with me. See what this is. Black Rutile Quartz, 3.91 carats. We're all gems. <laughs> Crystals. Vintage. Oh, there's some cute stuff in here. This is pretty. Oh, it's missing stones. Or it was made that way. No, it's missing stones. Don't look like anything was ever in there, though. Okay. I'm working on a big bag of wearable craft stuff. Well, hey, hey. Angela, I decided not to ship you because I knew we were only two days away from a sale. And I'm like, that way you don't have to pay more shipping. I mean, I already got it taped up and everything, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait. Take that way you don't have to pay shipping. <laughs> you got a big box. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm working on a giant bag. I picked this up on the way out, out of my bedroom. I'm like, is this all sterling? So I was thinking about just doing it, um, truly liquidating my sterling, like really hammering it. I want to know what's in here. It says J. Crew. I don't think so. I don't know what's in here. It is a J. Crew. Okay. It's a big old necklace. And another J. Crew bag. Okay. This will be for tomorrow. Eventually, these statement necklaces will, will come back, right? So what I thought about doing, because I really want to um, liquidate a lot of this sterling, is um, first we can do the rings, and I'm going to knock these down on prices. Hey, Stella. So we got Lori, Angela, Ashbell, Stella, Sharon. Sharon, I'm sorry about your tiger's eye. It might be in your package because I, I would have seen it. We might run into it tonight. But I don't think I would have put it back inside this tray. I don't. Anyway, this is kind of dirty. So it goes. Mexico for sure. Size eight on the money. And it's just, yeah, very typical Mexico. Size eight. And, you know, at this point... I'm not too, I just really need to liquidate. So we're at 11.77 grams. So how about we do this? We'll just start it at, um, hey, Christina, how about we just start it at, we'll just put it at 10 bucks. It's less than a dollar a gram that way. It's a sizable ring. It's 11 grams. 
I see Lori at 10. Size 8. I meant to cut my nails. But I made a good dent in the spare bedroom upstairs. I've got two boxes of jewelry making stuff. Now, it's not your normal person's jewelry making stuff. I saved elements from vintage necklaces and beads and stuff like that. Well, plus there's like the silver plated wire and the copper wire and stuff like that. But a bunch of pearls because of the antique and vintage hinges um, clasps. I got two big medium, it might be large size flat rate boxes full. I'll try to weigh them tomorrow, but yeah, I'll probably bring those tomorrow. They're just crazy. I may have to make a video, take my phone up there and just kind of show what's in the boxes. Because if you like to make jewelry, some stuff just needs repaired, honestly. Some stuff in there. I'm going to start calling this for um, Lori. Uh, this stuff. Uh, uh. What to do? What to do about that stuff? I don't know. I should have got bags, but oh well. We'll we'll manage. So I'm gonna call this Lori at ten. We're not doing that. I was gonna say I just had the pen. I'll get my groove. I'll get my groove. Thank you, Lori. Sorry. I'm always going backwards when I first start. I'll pick up. This is not strong. Neither is this. This is really, I don't know why this particular brand sells for stupid money. I forget what it is now. I'm upside down. Like CI seven seven. No. Maybe one of the other ones have a clearer mark. Is there all the mark the same? M C M C seventeen point seven. Or MCI 7.7. .7. Anyway, it's a charm bracelet, but it's built on. So, in other words, these aren't jump rings. These are um, actually this one that's attached to the bracelet has a tiny gap, so that can open. But I thought the charms were soldered on there. Hang on, let me check. So the one that's attached to the chain has a tiny opening, but the one that actually goes to the charm is soldered shut. So it's got your um, mind calendar. I think that's probably like what a gold pan for painting gold or something like that. It's a shoe, I think. It might not be. It might be some type of shovel or weight or something. Don't know. Sombrero. And then your dude. Your dude. For some reason, this goes for stupid money. It's um saying at seven and a quarter. Uh, what's the weight on this bad boy? Come on. <laughs> my two zero out. It's 15.9 grams. So I'm going to start at 15. These sell, I think this is the ones they sell like for 75, 80 bucks and up. It's something about this particular maker. I don't know. And it's this particular charm bracelet too. So I did find it rather easily. It's really nice. You saw how nice and thick that chain is. And all these are extremely well made. And they're all signed the same. With whatever that MCI and whatever that stuff is. 
whatever. It's either, let's see, Sharon. Yeah, you can find this, and it's crazy pricey for some reason. Let's see if I can get this turned around. We can see the mark. Yeah, in my own light. Oh, it's upside down, I think. Yeah, it's not not helpful. I see Hoarder's Haven at 25. Well, no, me either, because I can't really make it out. Um, I actually found it on an image search when I looked at it before. And just the sombrero itself from this maker was, like, just the sombrero was, like, $25. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what this is. Is it MCI or is it just MC? That would be recognizable as a maker. Because the MC is very clear. MC. See, that might be a J. This one's a little clearer. But definitely the 17. Like MC 17.7. It's really weird. Lori's out. Hoarder's at 32. Yeah, this is a really nice bracelet. Just, if it wasn't so big on me, I'd, I'd keep it because of the quality, but it's just way too big. Plus, I have probably, <sighs> I probably have 10 charm bracelets. Seriously. It's a, it's an illness. It's an illness. See, Hoarder's at 32, looking for 33 or better. Lori's out. Sharon's out. I think that's all we had, right? I'm going to start calling this for hoarders. So I'm going once for hoarders, going twice for hoarders, and sold to hoarders heaven at 32. And thank you for registering. I'm pretty sure I saw your information like days ago. So thank you. I appreciate and people register ahead. Much nicer. Because I really can't wait, you know, to do that in the middle of an auction. It's just not fair to everybody else. All right. The holder's heaven at 32. Congratulations. That's a really nice bracelet. Really nice bracelet. Hopefully, you'll be able to find out the information. I found it, and I did it on image search, so you should be able to find it fairly easy. I'm curious what's in this bag. Oh, one of those auction lots. They have, they separate what they call the scrap. I go through the scrap and I take this stuff like off the earrings and save all these for like charms, like Puffy Heart. This will make a nice pendant. Oh, the chain's stuck on there. This will make a nice pendant, right? And this stuff, I love this. The wolf. So all this stuff and like this just needs this needs a clasp. Nice figaro chain. But all this stuff, like this one's got the uh, moonstone. So yeah, I go through their scrap pile and get this stuff. Like this one's nice. This is like the two dolphins. So you need jump rings on them to be charms and or pendants. But they are cute. I put the earring back somewhere. God knows what I did with the earring bags. These I've tried to sell twice. Hey, Beck. These I've had up twice, and I had them together. Like a two for it's just 925A. And the heart is also 925A, Thailand. I can put this on a chain. I can. Oh, God, where do the chains? <laughs> I might change my mind. <laughs> okay. Are you Verme? I think so. You are not Verme. So I'll put this on a chain. Because I've had this up twice, just the pendant by itself with the earrings. 
and no one has loved it. And it's really pretty. I cleaned it, so maybe that will help. As you can see. There's Marcosite and CZ. It's just bling blinged out. It's an old chain because it's got one of those little flaps that you, one of these doohickeys. It's marked. I wonder what it says. Says 18 karat gold plated. I better test this. This might not be sterling. Sorry, guys. It's really weird. Really weird. I don't know if I want to waste time doing this or not, especially since I don't readily see my stone. I think I put my little jewelry box on top of it. All right, well, let's just do this. If the chain's just plated, fine. We're going to do it for the cost of the, the pendant. I don't know where's my stone. That's so weird. I was just using it day for yesterday, right? Sitting here testing stuff. That's so odd that it's just gone. I see the the um, acid, but we'll just do this. Forget the chain. I'll leave it on there, but if it's 18 plated, that's nothing fine. If it's sterling, good for you. It's a really pretty pendant. And it's going to be blurry because it's so sparkly because it's marcasites on the outside and the inside is full of look at all this the rainbows on that thing <laughs> it cleaned up really nice didn't it it did really pretty and here's your back it's all open and there's your signature there so on this one <laughs> I'm just going to do it by it now if anybody wants this. I'll do it by it now, five bucks. Anybody wants it. This is all sterling. Okay, Sharon's got it. It's a buy it now, so that's Sharon's. Thank you. It did clean up really nice. It was dull. Just a little bit of Dawn a soft, soft toothbrush. And here's the earrings. They won't be sterling backs, but maybe these backs will fit. They wouldn't fit those other earrings, but go figure. Let's see if these fit. Not really. Let me try the butterfly backs. It's so hard to pick them up. All right, the butterfly backs work. Now if I can find another butterfly back. There's one. They might be sterling, but I don't think so. The backs, that is. The earrings are. Okay, these fit. So at least now we got backs. So not sterling backs, but at least they have butterfly backs. These are the Marcosite earrings. Really good shape. Like the J-hoops. These are the same 925A. Hoarders, that was a buy it now. And that's why Sharon got it at five. Very pretty, Marcosite. These are, I think, they're half inch hoops. Half hoops. Actually, they're an inch. Okay. So. On the half inch hoops, I'll do the same thing. We'll do another bite now at five. Anybody wants these? They are sterling. Marcosite, one inch. Bite now at five. All right, those are Sharon's. We're going to share your bag. Since I'm running low on bags. See, there's something else I needed to order, too, from... All right, here's a ring. 
I did clean this a little bit, but it still kept that grayness to it, which is just the age, I think. And I'm looking for a mark. I just see the 925. It is really pretty. This is a seven and a half. I'll give you a weight on this. This one is 5.6 grams. Size seven and a half. And we'll do a starting bid on this one, five bucks. We're just doing a dollar a gram, sometimes less. I've cleaned it, that grayness, it stays. Um, I didn't use one of those Shine Bright pads on it, but it's really pretty. I see Lori at five. This one is a bid, honey. Angela's at six. There's the inside, size seven and a half. Yeah, really pretty. Lori's at seven. Really nicely made. See Angela at eight. Decent wide band on that. It's really comfortable on the finger too. See Lori at nine. Angela's out. Yes, I do. I'll pull. We'll go through what rings I have, sweetie. I've got all sizes. Mortars is at 10. Lori's at 11. This is a pretty ring. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here. And thank you for your purchases and your bids, too. It's awesome. It's awesome. And orders back at 12. Looking for Lori's out. Angela's out. So I'm going to call this for Hoarder 7 at 12. Congratulations. That's a pretty ring. It's the right price, right? <laughs> I decided, you know what? Let's, let's move this stuff. I can read my own writing. That has happened. I had a very lazy day today, other than the room, which now I'm ready to drag boxes down. But again, I make film those boxes upstairs and then drag them down. So eventually I'll be making my videos upstairs. That'll be my new sales room upstairs since Kelly and the kids have moved out. This is a size nine and a quarter. This one is. Thank you. Yeah, I try. This says it's nine and a quarter according to the bag. And it is. So this one is really interesting. It's got a split band on one side and the band splits into four on the other. And this is a nine and a quarter. And it's the vines, I think is what I would call this is vines. I'm trying to get some focus here. There we go. So on this side, it's got your two and your pretty heart-shaped leaves. On this side, as you can see, they split it more. And they brought it into the four. Very nicely made. Very pretty. Hi, Nightmar. Thanks for coming by, Chica. And this one is 4.4 grams, so we'll start the bid on this one at $4. Yeah, Nightmare, we're doing a dollar a gram or better. <laughs> it's in size nine and a quarter. See, holders at five. Pretty ring. Too big for me, but... This finger is forever dirty. I think it's because I'm digging in stuff. I was digging in that box. <laughs> See, Lori at six. Thank you. It is Nightmare. Why not? I see hoarders back at seven. 
it's a well-made ring. Say Laurie at eight. YouTube user. YouTube user, is your name Melanie or are you trying to bid? Lori's at eight. And if you haven't registered, I need you to register. And the email is Melly's Jewelry Box at gmail.com. Same stuff everybody else needs. YouTube name, real name, full address, and your PayPal email. I also take Cash App and uh, Venmo. I see holders at 12. You know, I have these vines in my yard. They grow wild. <laughs> They're pretty, actually. It's not a pothos. It's similar to a pothos, but not quite. Ash Bell's out. Lori's at 13. Thank you, Becky. Let's see, Lori at 13. Ash Bell is out. Oh, great. Oh, really? <laughs> you try everything to make your name to show up. In the chat, I wonder why it wouldn't. I don't have any restrictions on my chat. I see hoarders at 14. I don't have any restrictions on my chat. Let me see if I find you in my registration. I do. Okay. Okay. Just send this to my um, subscriber. I have a namesake. Cool beans. Oh, it shows up. Um, it shows up the Melanie. No, see, it's not. Well, you are registered and you're in the chat and we see you. So welcome. And thank you so much. Where are we at? Hoarders at 14. Yeah, my given name is Melanie. My eldest sister, she stuck me with the Melly Bell. So I just use Melly. Hey, Steph. That was a great jewelry lot I got from you. I showed a few pieces Thursday from that lot. I'm going to start calling this um, for hoarders. I don't see anybody else coming back. And it's been a minute. So I'm calling this once for hoarders. She's at 14. Twice for hoarders. Three times for hoarders. And sold hoarders at 14. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a, I've always liked that little ring. It used to fit. A lot of these rings were mine, but I lost that weight. I didn't realize my fingers would shrink that much, but this is now a three. And my ring finger is a five. My index is seven. It's like, yeah, my ring sinks. My ring, my fingers went. This is a pretty little ring. Unusual. I don't think it even has a mark on it. We tested this together before. This is a little bit out of wonk. It's out of wonk wonk. I can tell already it doesn't weigh anything. Hey, Rosa. I don't know what that is. Probably a peridot, probably an amethyst. Yeah, testing the amethyst. Probably peridot is what they probably called it. And it's very simple. I can tell you right now, it doesn't weigh anything. Maybe a couple grams. Yeah, 3.71. So we'll just start this one at $3 because it's 3.71 grams. Oh, it is at around, but I'll play with it on here a little bit. Okay, let me just drop it. It's sitting at six and a half, Lori. It slides on my seven, though. It easily, easily goes on my seven. So I'm going to say it's a seven, not a six and a half. Here's my six. No, it's loose on the six. Yeah, let's call this a seven. Size seven. What would you call that? Heartbeat? Stab them. <laughs> Put it on the end. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you had a big enough finger, you can only hit <laughs> Like those vampire movies where they take their ring and they nick the person. <laughs> I know. Random. Random. It is pretty, though. It's a nice... The bezel, they, they did a nice job of the bezel there. Sorry about my nails. Good grief. <laughs> you stab yourself. Right. Well, I was looking at that stuff because that's why I turned it around because the pointy part was down here. I'm like, I'm going to stab my own knuckle with this thing. I see Lori at three. I don't see any other interest. <laughs> right. Go to do something like gouge yourself. Yeah, it is small. All right, I'm going to call this for Laureate 3. I don't see any other interest. Yeah, it's a size 7. It's not a 6.5. It's a, it's a 7. So don't trust the mandrel on this one. I think it's, it's doing that because it's out of round. It's not sitting exactly correctly. This is so nice. I can't believe this didn't sell to begin with. There's a chain in there. Oh, it's a good chain. All right. Look how nice this is. This is fat, too. Look how fat that is. And, yes, it's all sterling. I don't know if that's gold over or if that's brass. See, now I'm really hard-pressed to find my stone. I'm going to try to rub the... Um, it looks like brass to me, but I want to know if it's sterling under there because... Well, it's light. It's cheap as I'm doing this. I'm not going to get anal. I think it's brass. Could be grass brass plate on the sterling i don't know but it's heavy as hell regardless yeah it's 26.4 grams no worries just my scale i have three i have spares all right this says mexico zero dash five dudes early nine two five anything else you got anything else to say Nope. Look how thick and heavy, though. So what was this? 26 grams? 26 points. So we're going to do, um, we'll do a starting bid on this one. $26. I'll put it on the measure in a minute. Focus, focus, focus. Look how fat that thing is. <laughs> And thank you, Ashbell. It's one of these doohickeys. Doohickeys. And it's sitting at six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, can't get it on without opening it. Opens and closes. To me, that looks like brass. It doesn't look like gold over to me. It could be. Looks more like brass than gold over. It's thick. It's kind of like um, tank tracks, isn't it? It is. Cool. Tank tracks. In sterling. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got to do my nails tonight before I go to sleep. Just file them down. They're too grody. They get too grody. I see. Hoarder's having at 30. Twenty six something grams. So that's an ounce. No, almost. Nice, heavy, well built. Edge markings. Works very nicely. I see nobody else. No. No, because this is your receptacle here, and this pushes in so. Yeah, and the way this is built to deconstruct that to add something wouldn't be cost effective at all. Would not be. I mean, they might make gadgets that attach. They might. They but you'd have to get the exact right size. I don't know that they make these. I'm saying like if they had an extender that had these male and female ends, but not that I'm aware of. But doesn't mean they don't exist. Ashbell hoarders already at thirty, honey. So we're looking for 31 or better. Well, if you want to withdraw, that's fine, sweetheart. It's okay. 
you can withdraw that your bid because Ashbell's at 28. That's fine. It's no big deal, sweetheart. All amongst friends here. This is all friendly. <laughs> There's no one at the door. <laughs> all right. Yeah, she's uh, right above you. I'm going to start calling this for Ashbell because Hoarders, does, it's just too small. So I'm going to call this once for Ashbell, twice for Ashbell, and sold to Ashbell at 28. Thank you, sweetie. That's a nice heavy bracelet for the money. Yeah, I can't get much better than a dollar a gram. It is, isn't it, Twist? I like it. Nice and sturdy. It's just well built. You know, it's just one of those Mexico things. Here's a large ring, um, hoarders. This, oh, no, it's not. I always think it's bigger than it is because of the way it looks. Um, say it's a size 7. It's kind of tight on that 7. Yeah, very tight. But it fits this 7. Okay. Yes, it's dead on a seven. Feels better on my six, though, but I do get swollen. I can't decide what the stone is. I don't know if that's chalcedony. I don't know. Extremely nice ring. Well built. This stone, I just, guys, I don't know. It's, if it had any fire in it, I'd think it was a blue moonstone, but it doesn't. But it is quite a bit of clarity at the same time. It's not it's not flashing like for a labradorite or anything like that. I can't decide what this stone is. It's not glass. It is a stone. Is that another like the first? It's fine, Hoarder. It's fine. It's all good. Is that another like the first? Sure, I don't know what you mean, babe. I'm confused. Okay, it says 925N as in Nancy, S as in Sam E, N S E. I've seen that, but couldn't tell you. And uh, uh, this could be anything. I don't know what it is. Don't know. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm getting really caught up with this because I it bothers me that I can't figure out what it is. It's 6.98 grams. I will start at six. It's saying it's seven. Okay. It does. I'm probably just poofy. I wish I knew what it was. I don't know. It's a it's saying a seven. On the mandrel, but it feels snug on my seven. But it probably I swell though. The thing is, I do get swollen, so it's it's a seven on the mandrel. But I can also have it on my larger six. The video is jumping and bigs being hidden. I think so, Sharon, because Ashbell said she couldn't see Hoarder's bid. So I think there is something happening. Everything looks fine on my end. I'm not seeing any of it, but I see Ash Bell at 10. That's a beautiful ring. Hey, Lori. I see Lori at 12. Thanks for coming in, sweetie. I don't know, guys. If it had any flash, I'd say Labradorite or a Blue Moonstone, but I'm not seeing any fire. It's definitely a gemstone, whatever it is. Well, I guess it's individual. I don't know. Well, I hope so. I see Lori at 16. A super nice ring, isn't it? See the back? It's almost like it has... Does that have slate or is that the stone? It's the stone because I can see through it. I can see the pale blue. It's really pretty through the back. It's like the prettiest pale blue. I see Ashbell at 18. 
sorry i don't know what the gemstone is guys but it's beautiful regardless of what it's called it's gorgeous ring we're still fizzy Laurie's out it's a seven on the mandrel but it's sitting comfortably on my um six and a half so you can word it six and a half or seven but it's seven on the mandrel Is dead on seven on the mandrel. And I can't judge by my fingers because I do swell because of the arthritis and stuff. So, yeah, a seven because that's my normal seven. So, I see Ash Bell's at 18. I'm going to start calling this for Ash Bell. Going once. Going twice. So to Ashbell 18. That's a good price on this ring. I really love this ring. But I can only wear so many rings. I have too many rings. My jewelry box is full of rings. My problem is my really nice turquoise rings. You can't get them to size them because they're afraid it'll split, you know. Ooh. <laughs> I can't do weight on this one. No, I paid out the nose for this. I should wear this. I don't even know why it's in this stuff. Probably because I hadn't worn it. I thought, well, let me go ahead and sell it. But, yeah, I got this from Gina Gay, and I paid stupid money for it. I think it's diamonds. I don't know. But it's one of these pool ones, which I liked it, because then I could wear it on my dinky wrist. But it's the... The panther with the ring in his mouth. It's one of those things, you know. I saw it. I had to have it. Anybody need a chain? Here's a big fat chain. A big fat chain. One of these is a um, diadema. Yeah, it's a diadema 925 Italy. A lot of times these are vermeil on one side and plain on the other. No, it's not. And it does have a front and a back because here's your front with your smooth texture. And the back, as you can see, is truly the back. So that's a diadema. It's your tag there. These, I mean, I could lay it straight to measure it, but it's the way it's going to lay, you're better off to measure the drop where it's going to fall on your neckline. And this one is sitting like it's seven and almost eight. So I'm going to say 16 inches is what this is. <sighs> so it's a 16 inch Diadema, Italy. It's vintage. I guess it's a herringbone omega. There's your Diadema tag here. So D Y A D E M A, Diadema. I will never be able to weigh this thing. I could probably guess pretty close. Hang on, there's only one way to do this. And that's to curl it and then close it. If I get a hold of the clasp without uncurling it. Got it. All right. Oh, it wasn't on. Ah. But it does work to get it on the scale. It's 18. Oops, 18 points. Eight grams. <laughs> so 18.8 grams. Oh, that's right. I have to unclasp it because I curled it to weigh it. So we'll start this at 18. 16 inch diadema. And there's your Diadema Italy tag here. Uh, if you'll be able to see that. Anyway, you trust me. It's Diadema. Really thick. I'll go ahead and I'm going to leave this open because it'll be easier to bag. Oh. 
Oh, my nail is disgusting. There's your diadema. Yeah. I'm about to go scrub my fingers. <laughs> Just because it's bugging me so bad seeing it. Whoa. I washed them after dinner. That's what that probably is, is the smoked turkey and stuff to clean up after dinner. Gross. Because it's that honey colored based looking little stuff on my finger. Gross. I see Sharon at 25 hoarders is out. Uh, nobody else was bidding. So I'll call this once for Sharon. Twice for Sharon. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to do this carefully. I don't want to put any kinks. I'm going to call this sold to, to Sharon at 25. That's a great deal on this big old chunk of chunk of, especially being a um, diadema, as you know. Diadema is highly collectible. Highly collectible. Ooh, that's a big bag. We don't need to go that far. Misty sent me a thing of these bags, and they sure are coming in handy since I've run out of the little plastic bags. Oops, I better mark that or I'll forget. I'll forget. Appreciate you guys being here, and for a long chain, <laughs> I wonder where that 50-inch one's at. It's not in here. I have a 50-inch sterling. It's Vermeer. It's 50, 5, 0, 50 inches. <laughs> What's over here might be wrong. Yeah. These got tangled. This is long, but it's Vermeer. It's Vermeer, but it is long. When you say long, how long? This looks like 18 inch. Yeah. All right, time to start undoing clasps. Oh no, it went down a little spout in my table. This looks like 16 inch. I don't think I have anything here exceptionally long. I have a really nice um, Cuban link chain somewhere 24 i don't know this one is verme though this one looks like it probably is 24 or better but it's verme let's see what we got it's 30 inches so this is 30 inches it is verme though and it's, what is that, this year, flat. I think that's like a herringbone. And it's vermeil. Let me know if you're interested. I'll weigh it. <laughs> I'll weigh it up. All right. Where's all those rings? Oh, my God. I love this. This is not marked as such, but I swear this has got to be Norway. It's just marked J and then a K over an L. And then 925. So it's a large J and then a K over the L. I'm going to take off the mirroring so that you can see. You can see what I see. This is fantastic. This is obviously an art studio piece. How this was made. Look at that stone. It's incredible. So I do. I don't know. It's it's not marked Norway or anything, but I get the feeling that it's from that neck of the woods. This one is sitting at a seven and a half. Gorgeous ring. Let me mirror myself. Otherwise, I get mixed up about which direction I'm moving. As you can see, I'm trying to go back and forth like a psycho person. That's a nice ring. I'm not bringing out that big Jasper set. <laughs> no, no. It's eight grams on the money. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
I'll wait this way. Give you a price on this. Um, so where are we at? I'm gonna stick to my word, even though this is a really nice ring. I started at eight dollars. Seven and a half is what it said. No, I'm like seven. It's a seven. It sits on my seven. Nice. Probably seven and a quarter. You could go seven and a quarter on this. You can see how this is all hand done. You can just tell. From the bezel setting to this being the way this is cut out. The way it's finished here. Yeah, this is definitely a studio piece. I see Ash Bell at eight. Very unique ring. Beautiful stone. I'm assuming that's some type of jasper. It reminds you of the rice fields in China. I love that streak of blue in here. It's really pretty. I'm going to start calling this for Ashbell. Sharon, you coming back? Ashbell's at 12. PM. What, Angela? What? Sharon's at 13. Angela, what are you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> it's okay. That was funny. Like, what? <laughs> Say what? Sash Bell's at 14. Sharon's out. Start calling this for Ashbell. It's going once for Ashbell. Going twice for Ashbell. It sold to Ashbell 14. Thank you so much. And thank you for your bids, guys. You guys are getting the deals tonight, right? You're like, yes. You glad I showed up with Dollar Gram jewelry. <laughs> I mean, it's 11 a gram if you take it. I'm just really bad about ever dragging my butt down there with my sterling i really am i'm really lazy about it oh the chain so this vermeil chain is 30 inches spring ring clasp it is herringbone single with whatever that means <laughs> and this one come on is 5.4 grams so anyone wants this 30 inch vermeil chain We'll start at five bucks, 30 inches, herringbone, vermeil, gold over sterling, a spring ring. Let's see if it says anything. 925 Italy. I see Lori at five, hoarders at 10. Lori's at 11. This is the one with the star. It's the five-point star with the lines behind it. So it is marked, but I don't know who that is. But it's a star with lines behind it. It looks like that. So it's a star, and then it's got lines behind the star. That's the mark. I don't know what it is. This is 30 inches. It is gold over sterling, vermeil, herringbone. I see Sharon at 15. Angela's at 16. See hoarders at 18. I 
I see Sharon's at 19. Angela's out. Thank you, Angela. For your bids, babe. So Sharon, it's 19. Holders is at 20. Hey, Maritza. Okay, Sharon's out. Hoarders, you asked for a long chain. You got it, sweetie. I'll call this a hoarders at 20. Thank you for your bids, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, not a big enough bag to work. Doesn't crimp. No crimping allowed. No crimping allowed. Thank you. Thank you. This is a cool ring. You're welcome. Thank you. This is really cool. This is very simple. This is a. It, it's a labradorite, but it's been facet cut. Obviously, someone made this on their own, like a, an artisan by themselves, um, because it's just the silver. It's all just the band and this bezel and then the, the facet cut labradorite. Very simple ring. Very pretty, though. I'm like, where's my, <laughs> where'd it go? This one is saying like almost eight and a half. Yeah, it makes it to eight and a half. This is all stone, 3.29 grams. I'll start at three. See how they made the, the band uh, comes up. You've got your round and then you, the way it bottlenecks up there. And then it's a facet cut labradorite. Beautiful flash in that. Beautiful flash in that labradorite. It's it's very simple ring, but it's really pretty. Very simple. It's a beautiful stone. If someone made jewelry, it'd be a nice one to pop to make something else out of. Such a pretty stone. I see Ash Belt 12. Hoarders is out. Really pretty. And Angela's out. Rose is at 15. Rose, you know why I didn't ship you? I can't find that coral necklace. It's so weird. I wonder if I shipped it to somebody else. Something to give you a credit. And go ahead and get you shipped out this weekend. This weekend, <laughs> I'm like, I'll run into it. I'll find it. I think I must have sent it to somebody else. I'm sorry. I have some other coral ones. I'll I'll show I'll show it to you. I might just send one freebie. <laughs> I see Rosa at 15. Everybody else is out. I'm calling this one to Rosa at 15. Going twice at 15. And Soldier Rosa at 15. I know. Don't ask me how I, I I put things in. I mark them. And this was in one of those big bags. That was during the sale. That's what I'm thinking. It's in somebody else's stuff because, yeah, it was a bunch of, yeah, all those bags. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. And congratulations, Rosa. This is a pretty little ring. Simple. Very simple. But pretty. This is, talk about simple. This is liquid silver. I did test it. And what I'm going to assume is a piece of turquoise. It's a barrel clasp. So, scream 70s. No markings, just a barrel clasp. Liquid silver. One single stone. It's a pretty little stone, though. Come on. Focus, would you focus, please? <laughs> Come on. 
There you go. Just simple. Very simple. It don't weigh nothing, guys. I'm just going to start this at a dollar. Anybody wants this? This looks very surfer length. Probably 16 inch. Maybe 15. Definitely surfer length. 15 inches. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. I got one from you already. So you're registered. I got your information, YouTube users. <laughs> I'm trying to get it closed, but you guys get the drift. It sits right here. It sits right in the nook of your neck. I see Sharon at seven. I have a hard time with these. I think I'm be better when I cut my nails too. Okay. I'll check it out. See so Rita at eight. Um looking for nine or better. It read is at eight. Just one simple little. I didn't even measure weigh this. It can't weigh much. That's why I started at a dollar. It's like, eh. And it's 2.8 2 grams. So yeah, I was on the money with this one. And Angela's out. I'm gonna start calling this for Rita. Say going once, Rita. Going twice, Rita. And so to Rita at eight. Thank you, thank you very much. I finally cleaned my kind of cleaned my neck finally. <laughs> Mr. Clean Magic Eraser came to the rescue. It's too small. So congratulations, Rita. That's cute. Simple. But sometimes simple is more elegant. Honestly, it can be very elegant. Looking for all the jar. I have so many. Oh, this is really cute. This is embossed. So some of them are smooth textured. And some of them have the embossed texture. So like this one's embossed. And then this one's smooth. And this one's embossed. This one's embossed. Very nicely made. All of these are soldered. You can see how this was done. It is on a toggle. And we already tested this ages ago when I first got this auction in. Nice bracelet. Older, for sure. This one's sitting at a six and a quarter, six and a half. Literally right in between. I'll tell you, because I'm a six. I will tell you momentarily what I think. Uh, come on, get in there. Cooperation, thank you. Six and a half. It's 19.5 grams. Uh, start at 19. Six and a half vintage, very dimensional. That's probably the mark there. Ooh, something teeny tiny. I can't read the 925. It's a symbol of some kind, but I can't read it. It's teeny tiny. I don't see any other marks on it. 
see hoarders at 19. It's a cute bracelet. A good weight. Like that light's just too much. As you can see the embossing on this one. What's that? Oh, this, right? It does have a good sound. I don't see anybody else. Orders at 19, looking for 20 or better. You pay that much for that toggle. Because that's a big sterling toggle. You pay that much for the toggle. I know, because I buy toggles. I was disappointed. I bought some toggles, and they were way smaller than what I mean. My spatial concept was wrong when I ordered. I decided to order again and get larger ones. Because I'm switching out, um, like, the lobster claws or the spring rings off my charm bracelets to replace it with toggles so I can get them on and off because I have such trouble with my hands. I see hoarders at 22. Thank you for your bids, Rosa. Very pretty. Very pretty. See orders at twenty two. Rosa, are you coming back or are you out, sweetheart? Hey, Rosa is at twenty four. I just realized Ruth um Rita I hadn't put your label inside your your necklace. Rose is out. Order's taking it at 25. That's a cool neck bracelet. It's a really neat one. I think it's quite a, I think it's quite a little bit older. Looks like it. So you got hoarders at 25. Okay. Make sure I put the tag in there. I'm bad about missing tags. Is this the rings? No. We can do this one by the gram. This is big. I'm going to say this is probably, I don't know. I would, I think it's unisex. There are no markings in it. I think this is a Native American design. I think this goes back to the Oak, Leaf, um, Oak Leaf's laurels. Your laurels, um, don't know though. This could be from anywhere. Don't know. Beautiful etching work though. Really a big piece. It's really, really big. Really, really big. So can't really use this cone on it because it's so oval. So if I squish it. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it probably go to a size eight. Um, it's malleable to a point. It's gonna spring back. It's gonna spring back. You're gonna have to have that heated to adjust this at all. It's just it's like two and three quarter inches wide here, and then the opening itself. <laughs> How did I lose that? The opening itself is like one. Just a little over one and a quarter inches. So I'm going to do this by weight. I had this up last time for $75. It is 37.53 grams. 37.53 grams. I'm going to start at 37. It's beautiful. Solid. It's over 37 grams. It's over an ounce of silver. It is sterling. I did clean it, but it's old, so it's got some spots that would probably come out with a liquid cleanser. I used the Shine Bright pads looking for a mark. 
the embossing is really fancy, really nicely done. I don't know if you can see the edges like on those leaves and the small lines in here. Just it's really well done. See Rose at 45. This is growing on me again. Now I remember why I bought it from Gina. Isn't that adorable? I paid a stupid price. <laughs> hmm. It wasn't. It's worth it. It's worth it. Because it's beautiful. Rose is out. I'm going to start calling this for Hoarder 7. Hoarder 7 once. Going twice. Last call. Sold to Hoarder 7. It's a great deal on that piece. That's old too. I've had that for a while. For a while. Thank you very much. This is not sterling, but it's antique. Get in there. It's a heavy one. It is not joking. This is antique. It's not sterling. Made in Italy. Old sea clasp. Very old. This is probably just brass. <laughs> it's a micro mosaic. It's a bar pen. It's probably, probably coincides with the Victorian era. Who knows what era they would place it in, because a lot of them are overlapping. There's your class made in Italy. This is beautiful. These slices are most likely Murano glass. This is a really nice piece. Some really small pieces in there. This is old. I'm going to start this low. I'm going to start at 25. Because this is collector's piece. This is a nice bar pen. This is nice. This is beautiful. Clearly. Um, this probably had to be like World War One era, that's what I'm thinking, or earlier, maybe it's Victorian, who knows when they, I'm talking about when they brought it back, when they were over there to get it. Two and a half inches long. It is beautiful. I just sold a bunch of, um, the micro mosaic, but this one's, this one's. This is, my, this is a special piece. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this one wasn't going to go with that group. I mean, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. It's just that not all things are made equal. It is beautiful. Hey, uh, Galita. Nice to see you. Why am I not seeing your bids? Someone else was saying they weren't seeing other. Oh, I see you at 55. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Believe me, I'd take the extra money. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Agalito. I'm so sorry. I have no excuses. None. Just didn't see it. It is beautiful, isn't that? Gorgeous stuff. Just gorgeous stuff. I'm going to start calling this for Rita. You're sweet. You're sweet to say that. Very nice. Very thoughtful. I'm going to call this for Rita. Rita, that's really pretty. Wear that in good health. Absolutely beautiful.
So it's not the original box, but it keeps it secure. It's a grime. I won't ship it in this, but it just keeps it secure. It'll be in a padded box, but I just want something to keep it. I don't want anything to mess it up. This is a little tiny ring. We're jumping around, but hey, Helen, I hope you're feeling better, sugar. This is six and a half. Tiny little baby ring. Six and a half. Let's see. It is a six and a half. And it's. Are you opal? I think it's opal. It is opal. It's fire opal. Six and a half. Fire opal. Little flower. If I could get it to focus, life would be good. All right. So we're just going to start then on this one. <laughs> it's probably two grams. <laughs> 2.35 so it's going to start at two bucks helen we're doing a dollar a gram or better yep that's fire opal they're small there's no way to tell if they're doublets or triplets i would say they're not man it's got beautiful fire whatever <laughs> So, I don't know. The back is closed, so there's no way to tell if it's a doublet. It's pretty old. Come on, why am I not? There you go. Here, let's get some eyeballs on this thing. Pretty fire, huh? It's closed in the back, so I can't really tell. A simple little ring. It's a cutie. This would make a great pinky ring, but my fingers do smell. Steps at five. It's cute as a button. Cute, cute, cute as a button. Cute, cute. Angel's at six. It's pretty. The opal's got nice fire, doesn't it? Let's see. Angel's at six. Looking for seven or better. All right, Steph, you coming back? Or are you out? I just wrote my, that's hand fell on my keyboard, wrote 777W. <laughs> All right, let's start calling this for Angela. Going once for Angela. Sharon's at eight. Sorry for the focus. It's blurry. I'm looking for a little bag. I see Sharon's at eight, looking for nine or better. Can't really see it. Let me get a little bag for that. Uh, luckily, I am finding bags that works. <laughs> it would, right? I don't have success wearing the midi rings, probably because my fingers are so little. Everything <laughs> there, <laughs> my thumb. <laughs> I said, see, Angela is at nine. I've never had success wearing a midi ring. I always thought they're going to fall off. I'm going to start calling this for Angela. Angela's at nine. Sharon, need ten or better. Going once for Angela. Going twice for Angela. 
Last call. Sharon, are you here? She's out. Okay. Angela, all yours at nine. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for your bids. That was already open. Where are you, nine? Cute, cute. That opal has a lot of fire. Fire, 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 fire. I just showed these, but what the heck? Now they're greatly discounted. Seems like someone bought them, but they weren't marked, so don't know. Oh, no, these aren't the ones. Those did sell the amethyst. Ooh, these are pretty. They can't be diamonds. They're too big. It would be, like, astronomically priced. No, they're not. Wow, these are pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I want to measure them. So I'll know going in. Yeah, they're half inch. They're half inch hoops. But look at these things. Wowza. They are pretty. Look at those things. Bling, bling, baby. They're half inch. They are CZs. Wow. Hang on. They are sterling. Look at that setting. Those are really well done. Those are nice earrings. Let me see what the mark says on these. How do they work? Perfect. Oh, those are built nice, aren't they? Yeah, they click and everything. All right, so these don't weigh much. Again, two, three, probably three, three point four. <laughs> Oh, they're 4.47. Woo, woo. <laughs> I'm going to start these at four. Let me look for a mark on these because these are really, really pretty. Light. Aziz, light. They say China. So what do you want to bet? They're Ross Simons. They look like a Ross Simons, don't they? It says China and then teeny tiny in there. I think that just says the 925. I don't see the R, but I can't see the mark all the way to the end. I bet they're Ross Simons. I see hoarders at 10, Sharon's at 11. These are pretty. Very pretty. Wowza. Wowza. I'm about to do one at a time so I can show them, guys. Otherwise, it's too difficult to try to hold them both. Wow. Extremely well made. The gallery is nice on these. I see Sharon at 14 and they click very nicely. They're signed down in here. It's hard to read it. You can make out the China, the 925. I bet they're Ross Simons. So probably lab diamonds. So they're not testing diamonds. They're testing like CZs. I see hoarders at 15. Aren't these pretty? I need to find my earring holders. Boy, it just loses it. It focuses and then it just gets too shiny. Orders is out. I'm going to start calling this for Sharon. Lori, you out, sweetheart? Because I got Sharon at 16. Wow, these are laying down. You should see the blue and purple just flashing up at me off these things. Wish I could catch that on camera. It was just flashing at me. Wow. Okay, thanks, Lori. All right, I'm going to call this for Sharon at 16. Thank you for your bids, everybody, and congratulations, Sharon. These are really beautiful, aren't they? Wowza. Those are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Really pretty. Yeah, I bet that little R is stuck down in there where I can't read it. Betcha, betcha. This is an interesting little ring. Three stones. Are you anything? Oops. 
No, they're just quartz or CZ, whatever. They're pretty. Hmm. It's just a band. Be good for stacking. It's a seven. All right, this is just beadwork going around here. The only stones you have are these three in the front. They're reading this crystal. They're not reading as as glass or steel. They're reading this crystal. So these are so shiny. It's gonna be hard to get these to focus. There. So you got the three stones. All those others are just little beads. And it's a stacking ring. So it's a seven. It's a stacking ring. I'm going to start this. I'm not going to bother weighing it. It probably weighs a couple grams. Yeah, I will be. I'll be on for a little bit. I usually stay on until about midnight or one. So I'll be around. Besides that, you can watch the rerun. And you can always ask if something's available. I fast forward through auctions. Yeah, it's 1.64 grams. So that's why I'm starting to at a dollar. It's a little stacking ring. It is sterling. Three stones. You got the other stacking ring. I don't know if it's the same size, though, Lori. It'd be nice. Like I said, we could get enough the same size. I've had so many of these little bands. It would have been nice if I could have had a, a few of the same size. <laughs> right? Right. Right, 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 right. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think you got this Mexico ring. Pretty sure. I think this is you. Yep. Lori, I'm just... I'm just... Tossing this in there for you, honey. Um, you know, I had that whole tub of rings. Let me just start pulling rings. This is a ring. Ring. Rings. Ooh, bag, yay. Come on, babies. I bring you my bling bling. I want to bring you bling bling. Bling, bling, baby, bling, bling. Lori, I never did anything with this. It is antique. I know that. It's not gold. It's not gold filled. I've never put a bail on it to put it on a chain. So, I don't know what you want with it. I don't know what to charge for it. Email me if you want it. <laughs> I can, I'll be very, very reasonable. Because <laughs> I'm not doing anything with it. I wanted to see if I was maybe... Should it be on, like, the monocle thing, or should it be... Yeah, i just leaving it for you. If you want it, let me know what you want to give for it. It is glass. It does It does magnify. I think you, we both know what that is. It is convex. All right, I'm pulling rings. Hang on. Pulling rings. Pulling rings. Anybody here have a military medic in the family? Random question, right? I ran across this thing. It's just for like a Air Force surgeon or something. It's all sterling. That's a military medical pen for the Air Force. It does say sterling, and I think it has a company name. No, it doesn't have a company. It says Sterling. It's older. That class tells me this thing is probably 40s. I don't know if there's militia collectors out here, but I thought it was pretty cool. All right, I have rings. I have rings. Yeah, I have rings. Let's see if I got more rings. I know I do, so there's that. There's that. I'm um, digging because they get buried. Oh, I just love this little guy. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, I'm finding the cutest stuff. Stop. <gasps> Ooh, I forgot about that ring. I don't know if I've ever even shown it. There's a bunch of rings. What's in the box? That's a ring, but I don't remember what I paid for it. So there's that. See, here's one that's more modern. Modern ones. Probably like 1950s. Oh, these are pretty. These are sterling. This is amazing. Okay, let's do some rings. I know this is unusual. Run the medical pen. You know what I'm doing, right, dude? This is your day. This is your day, Jeff. Jeff. It's 14.14 grams. So, on the medic pen. I'm starting at a dollar a gram. Great collector's piece. I think that... I think that that is a 40s pen. Looking at that hinge. It's got the round sort of hinge. Early locking clasp. He's fuzzy. Yeah. It's an old one, dude. It's old. There's no way to know which wart's from except for the pen and the discoloration. There's really nothing else that tells you anything. Not that I know. Maybe guys or people that are in the service know. Maybe there's a difference in the wings. Maybe there's a difference in this laurel wreath. I don't know. Let me give you a measurement. I got these rings now. <laughs> got rings. It's just a little over one and a half inches long. And it's one inches high. Sharon's at 15. Sharon's out. Jeff's at 17. It's a cool one, huh? You're the only two bitten, so I'm going to call this for Jeff. Well, I'm glad you were here. And you got it, sweetie. You got it. Thank you, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you for your bids, Sharon, honey. It's a cool one. All right, rings. This is Marcusite Mother of Pearl. This one is a size eight and a half. Marcusite Mother of Pearl. It is 3.64 grams. So we're going to start this at $3. So it's eight and a half. Too much light. It's a pink mother of pearl. Marcosites. That might just be beadwork. It is. It's all beadwork. There are no marcosites at all. It's all beadwork. No marcosites. Unless the points are worn down. Let me see. No, there's no marcosites. It's all beadwork. Pink Mother of Pearl. It sits at an eight and a half, dead on the money. I see Ash Belt three. That light's really washing it out. There, I can see the pink. It is pink to the eye. Doesn't want to keep focus on these little rings. Shiny rings, I should say. It's the shininess, I think, that throws the camera off. I don't see anybody else. We'll start calling that for Ashbell. I need my light back. Someone calling once for Ashbell. Going twice for Ashbell. And sold at $3 to Ashbell. Congratulations. It's a cute ring. Nothing wrong with that ring. Nothing wrong with any of this stuff. It's just I'm ready to I'm ready to sell it. I'm ready to sell it. So thank you, madame. Okay, we well, just showed this one. This is a homemade funky big chunker. That's all I can say. It's a funky big chunker. It's small. 
It must be like a five and a half. Oh, it's sitting at a six. I don't believe that. No, no, it's not a six. I'm going to say it might be five and three quarters. Yeah, it's not a six. No, no way. Five and a three quarters. It's just a chunk. Someone made this because it's like brutalist. See how it's just not even. I'm looking to see if it's signed because I think it's intentional, this look. Yeah, it's marked LB or LD. So they signed it. It's got a copyright, then LB. So this was done intentionally. Very brutalist, right? It has an LB and it's written, it's in block. So it's very intentional. That mark is very intentional. Let me see if I can get it on camera. Let me find it first and then. Oh. I'm trying to find the mark. There it is. So it's signed. So this is intentional. See if I'm not mirrored. I don't know which way I'm going. I'm like going backwards. It's got some weight. It's cool. If it fit a bigger finger, I'd keep it. 6.78 grams. Lizzie Borden. Ooh. 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 I'm going to start at $6. It's signed, so it's intentional, so I guess it's just brutalist. Right? I don't know what else to say about it. I don't know who that is. But they did it intentionally, whoever did it. Okay, so L B the Sterling Ring. These are all fancy. They just say L B. They don't say anything about that. It says Celtic tagged L B. There's no way to tell. No way to tell. Actress L B. I guess, but it has a copyright symbol. That's why I don't think it's someone's initials. I mean, as far as like an owner or a gift to person. See, the band is, is fine. But this is very intentionally not even. I see orders at eight. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start calling this orders. Thank you for your bids, Sharon. Cute. It's different. Hopefully the research will find out who it is because it, it's rings like that. It's stuff like that it ends up being important. It's stuff like that it ends up being like a studio piece or an art piece or something. It's, it's the way it works. The weirdest things. It's like uh, little things turn out to be something special. Okay. Thanks again for your biz. And we're at six. Get in there. All right, rings. This is a little turquoise ring. Pretty little thing. It's big. It's a size nine. It's a size nine. And it's turquoise. Let's see if it's signed. I don't know what that says. It says Sterling spelled out. Sterling and then 
maybe RM. RM Sterling and then RM. It's pretty little ring, size nine. So it's got some, it's, it's big. All right. So we're going to start bidding on this at $3. Size nine. Signed Sterling spelled out RM. And there's your writing here. Size nine. It's a pretty little ring. See Angela at eight. See Melanie's at ten. Angela's at twelve. Thank you for your bids, guys. Rita, we're looking for thirteen or better, sweetheart. Melanie's in at fifteen. Size nine. Lori's out. Thank you for your bids, Lori. Rita, Melanie's at 15. We're looking at 16 or better, please. YouTube user is at 15. Angela's at 16. Looking for 17 or better. Melanie's at, at 17. Rita's out. Angela, you in or out, baby girl? Melanie's in at 17. And Angela's at 18. It is pretty. Pretty ring. Angel's at 18. Melanie, we're looking for 19 or better, sweetie. Melanie's at 19. Thank you for your bids, everyone. Angel's out. Congratulations, Melanie. This is pretty. And it's a larger ring. It's a size 9. Surprising. Surprisingly big. So thank you, thank you, everyone. You know, my mom said she named me from Gone with the Wind, and I told her she should name me Scarlet because Scarlet had more fun. She did, right? Scarlet had all the fun. Of course, she didn't get anything in the end, so what's in the bag? Oh, someone wanted big rings. This is a big ring. That's an old spoon ring. And it is sterling. And I don't think I could find the marks on this. I think I I think it's just one of those uh it's not community rows because those aren't sterling, I forget. But see, yeah, they they didn't capture the oh here it is. It is, it's got hallmarks. So it's got the passant, the lion's facing right, then an anchor. What is that symbol? And then it says Sterling spelled out. I don't know what that last symbol is. With the facade space in right, you got the anchor. That last thing, I don't know what it is. But obviously it's British Sterling. I don't know the age. I'd have to go to the website and look up these um hallmarks for the date on this but it's vintage at least because it's curved the way it sits um let's say this lower part down here okay I think it's going to be an eight, eight and a half. 
Now, granted, you need to warm this up. Don't just go to move it. It's not soldered together, so it can be adjusted, but it's thick and strong. So you're going to need to warm it up before you adjust it. But right now, it's like eight, eight and a half. Oh, it's snugging on my seven. Okay, Mel. It's snugging up on my seven. So this thing's going to fit. You're going to have to adjust it. It's I could wear this on my seven. Not a problem. Because it's snugging up. That's a nice old ring. I really hate to do this for weight. Because this is super nice. But I'm a woman of my word. I do what I say what I'm going to do. It's 8.45 grams. So you'll forgive me if I start this at 10 bucks. That's a little over a dollar gram, but this is fantastic. I can't, I don't know what that symbol is. Let me show it to you because I've read these marks forever. Obviously, you know, the Passant and those, the anchors and those, but I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get this. So small, I can certainly try. So maybe. I don't know what this last symbol is. It doesn't make any. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get close enough on that. Uh... Darn it, my fingers are in my own way. No, I'm not even, it's, it's right, it's in this narrow, it's in this narrow part right in here, so I'm, I can't do it. Gosh, I'm sweating all of a sudden. This is beautiful. It's showing like eight and a, eight and a half on the mandrel, but it grabs, I mean, look, it already sticks. It's grabbing my seven, so you're going to be able to adjust this for yourself, but man, is that beautiful. Then I guess some age on this thing. What's weird? It almost looks like a money bag or something. It looks like it looks like a bag. It, it looks like a bag to where like the top tie is flop. And looks like a bag. <clears throat> now I'm curious. Let me pull up the British hallmarks. I'm gonna pull up the British hallmarks. I am. I am. I am. Because I'm curious now. I want to know. I'll set this here. I hope it doesn't fall. British Hallmarks. Okay. Oh, it's the town. That's why it looks so weird. Okay, let me see if I can find it. It might be Dublin. It does kind of look funky like that. But these are just as blurry as my mark. <laughs> oh, it's not London because, see, it makes sense too. It's not London because my lion, my passant is facing right, not left. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just totally zoomed. I'm totally zoned out. I'm thinking that it's Dublin, and because it's not made in Ireland, because the lion, the passant, is facing left, not right. I mean, he's facing right, not left. So, and then the anchor. So, yeah, interesting piece. But that last symbol, I'm thinking it might be Dublin, because it's just a weird-looking symbol. It's not anything I've seen before. I see Rosa at 18. See, now I started sweating. Now my now it's a little loose. So, yeah, the eight, eight and a half. I see Rosa at 18. Anybody else? I 
I'm gonna start calling Rose. Rose, that's a great deal you got, darling. Let me know what you find out. But I can tell you the line, the passant's facing right, and then the anchor. But it's that thing on the right. But check out Dublin. It might be Dublin. I'm thinking it might be. It was as blurry in their pictures as as my as mine. So. Didn't I have a bag already for this? I did. Okay. Thank you, Rosa. Oops. Can't write. I had a big old magnolia flower. Big, fat, giant spoon ring I sold years ago. That was one of the things I really regretted selling that thing. I don't know why I do that sometimes. I sell stuff and I'm like, why did I even sell it? <laughs> what was I doing? Okay. This is a weird ring. I thought this was like snakes, Medusa, but I can't find a head of a snake if this is a snake. I'm going to look again. Maybe, you know, 40th time's a charm. No, I'm not finding anything. It's just ropes. I don't know. It's like six and a quarter is what it says. Okay, I'll buy it. It's just unusual. It's just a weird ring. Look how cool that is. So I thought, well, maybe this is a snake, right? I'm looking for a snake head somewhere. There isn't one. And that detail goes down onto the band a little ways, too. So I don't know. A size six and a half. Or six and a quarter, I think it says. 4.76 grams. So I just accidentally created a marker. <laughs> Let's start at four. Didn't I say six and a quarter? Yeah, six and a quarter. It's cool. It's got some height. It's piled up there. Very different, right? I see Lori. I don't see anybody else. I'll give it a minute. I'll give it a minute. <clears throat> Light's just too much, isn't it? It's an interesting ring. Very interesting ring. I for sure thought it was going to be a snake. No. I'll call this for Lori at four. Going once. Oh, Sharon's at six. So I got Sharon at six. Uh, and Lori's back at seven. Very interesting. Not quite sure. Because not really Celtic. I mean, not, I don't know. Maybe it is. Very freestyle. I'll give him that. I can't see. <laughs> I see Lori at nine. Sharon's out. And congratulations, Lori. It's yours after all. Thank you, ma'am. It's cool. Don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's cool. It doesn't have to be anything other than interesting. Definitely. And conversation starter like what is that no oh, your guess is good as mine this is a b string this is a b string this is a size nine it's a monster i don't know what the stone is i'll be saying this was handcrafted that could be chrysophrase. It could be turquoise. It could be a bunch of different stones. I don't know. It's a big fat boy, though. Size 9. See how they added that in? Just the way it was built is interesting. Does this say anything? 925, I think, is all that said. 
What do you say? Uh, it says something. Oh, guys, this says PB925. I didn't see that mark before when I had it for sale. Oh, man. 14.93 grams. I don't think it's Jade. I'll check that. That would read. No, it's just a mystery stone. Doesn't go all the way up to Jade. No. What was this again? 14.42 grams. It's PB. P is in Paul. B is in Bird. <laughs> oh man, my nails tore up. I don't know that it is. It could be Peyote Bird. It is just the PB mark. That's all it says. PB925. Could be Peyote Bird. It's heavy. It's big. It's a nice ring. It's a monster. Yeah. Quarters in at 20. Yes, I can't model this. It's way too big for any of my fingers. It's a honk. I don't know if that PB is Pody Bird or not. Lori's out. Ash Bell's at 26. That's a nice ring. Hey, Sandy. So, Helen popped in for just a minute. I wonder if she's going to be well enough to do tomorrow afternoon. I actually made... um. Steph show last night. I did fall asleep though while she was still on. So I will see you tomorrow at noon. Quarters at 35. So thank you for your bids, everybody. Everybody. Quarters at 35. Ash Bell's out. Looking for 36 or better. Just you and Steph. Yeah, I was thinking that was pretty quick because I know when I had it, I was good 10 days of being sick. And then it just held on. That cough, I swear. They're calling it like the 100-day cough up in, Ohio, up in your neck of the woods, Sandy. 100-day cough. So Helen sent me the invite to come in June. I think it's June 9th. That'll be fun. I'll do jewelry, but I'll probably bring some hard goods too, because I've been I've been replacing a lot of my stuff with things I'm buying from you and stuff and other places. It's really nasty. I see hoarders at 40. I had to go to the doctor and get antibiotics. It got into my sinuses and settled. Yeah, it will be. I leave this Friday so for Savannah. Woo, so excited. I got all my linen and my whites <laughs> ready to pack. <laughs> I'm ready to dress for Savannah. Sandy's out. So, yeah, we're going for a week to Savannah. And then I get back. And it's a few days after that we go to... Um, Crystal River for a car show, for MG car show. Take our little MG. I see hoarders. I think our belt is out. I'm calling this hoarders going once, going twice. Sold to hoarders. That's a great ring, hoarders. That's a really great ring. That's a beast. Really nice. 
Okay, I think I started that at like a 75 bucks before. Signed old ring. Signed old ring. This one, I'm not crazy about this ring. It doesn't look real. I'm not to, I can't rub it, though, but I think I did test it because I didn't think it looked real. I don't see a thing on it. We're not taking that chance, and I can't know where my stone's at. Okay. Any more rings that are already out of the bag? Nope. This is a little clawed owl ring with no stone. It looks very small. It is a size five. We're just gonna start this at a dollar. Oops, a dollar, not not thirteen. <laughs> Delete that comment. There we go. I'm gonna start this. Again. I'm just gonna start this at a dollar. It's a little clawed owl ring. It's a size five. No stones. Just a simple little clot out ring, size five. I think I sold the one that was Ireland, right? Oh, this one is signed. Something's got writing all over it. Oh, it's got writing all around inside of it. It says something. Hang on. First of all, it's signed. F, N is a Nancy, M is a Mary, and then some symbol, then 925. Then it says, love, loyalty, friends, friendship. Love, loyalty, friendship. And it signed out the yin yang. I don't know who that maker is. What was it? F M N. I think that's what it said. Yeah, F. Wait a minute. F is in friend. N is in Nancy. M is in Mary. O. F N M O, and then nine two five. It's a little clot eye ring, no stones. I see Lori at three. Sharon's at four. Appreciate your bids, guys. This is fun tonight. It's an easy way to sell, just weigh it. And you guys get a hell of a good deals. Lori's out. Let's start calling this for Sharon. Going once for Sharon at six. Going twice for Sharon. And sold for six dollars. I don't know who that maker is. Probably should be able to find it though, I would think. It's a four letter name. All right, let's get into the bag. Bag of rings. I told you that ring had three stones. I think that's the one I got from Dina. If this is Honora, the other one's Honora. Oh, this is all open. Cool. All right. What say you? Uh, so shiny. can't read that. It says 925, but before it says something else. I don't know. I can't read it. China. Is it A Z S? Maybe A Z S. Oh no, that's the nine two five. What's there something next to it? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I 
can't make it out. Uh, was it numbers or letters? I don't know, but it's a big ring. Yeah, this is eight and a half. It looks like Honora, but I'm not seeing the H. The Honora usually has the H's curled like that. I'm not seeing it. I would have swore it was this one. I have a single pearl one that is the Honora. I thought this was too. Oh, it's got two sets of markings. Hang on. Oh, that's because it says China. So I don't know. Yeah, eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half. Lord. Okay, I believe it. Eight and a half. I really don't want to sell this damn thing for weight. I think that's a mistake. <laughs> uh, yeah, seven point. Oh. Okay. I'm not doing this at weight. I can't, guys. I know what I paid for it. I'll start at half of what I paid. I paid 40 for it. I think I paid 40 for the single stone. I don't remember. Why did I buy an eight and a half? This is the one. This is the Dina's. It looks like Honora. I'm sorry. It does. I bought it as Honora. <laughs> this is the one that I saw her put on the sizer. And it should have fit me. I think it was supposed to be like a seven or something. This is really going to bug me. And why does it have... It looks like it has like little dots for openings. That there's no stones there. It's just pearls. I can't believe I'm not finding my H on here. But I'm not. It's a nice damn. <laughs> yes, it's right at eight and a half. It's way too big for me. It's gorgeous. I might end up, I keep saying I'm going to depend on this size. It's, it's, I'll list it. If it doesn't sell, then I'll get it sized. Because I do like pearls. I got a couple earrings mixed up in here. All right. Those are pretty little stones. Come on. I got to take not the tape measure. Mystery stone. Could be anything. Calcite. Who knows? There's another one that's an eight and a half. And this is, I don't know, mystery stone. And is this one marcasite or is it just more beadwork like the other one? Beadwork. Come on. See you out. Thank you. 4.1 grams. I start at four. Size eight and a half. I don't know what those are. They're a very pale blue green color. They are stone. They are a natural stone. I just don't know what they are. There's no um there's no mark site there. It's all beadwork. Size eight and a half. Interesting how that's put on the band there, huh? Look at that back, how it's open there. It's well made. I see Angela at four. It's a pretty ring. Pretty, pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to call this her aunt. Oh, Jeff is in at five. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Sorry, babe.
Now, Jeff, I was trying to pick up, get a good deal on some of those, like those um, metal, painted metal or enamel brooches. People have gone crazy. They're wanting like 14, 16 and up for the flower pins. So I used to buy them, you know, inexpensively and sell them inexpensively. I suppose if they need repair. I'll call this for Jeff. Thank you for your bids, Angela. Now it's like, I guess they're popular again. And I don't know. It's harder and harder to find good vintage. I may have some really good vintage, but then it gets too good and then it's hard to sell too. Stuff like that. I mean, Jesus, what are you going to do? I spent too much on it. <laughs> you Look, I had them to sell to you. Don't be telling me you started the fad. Where the hell did they come from? They came from me. I started a fad. <laughs> How about we start a fad, Jeff? We did it. We did it. It takes a village. Ooh, this is pretty. This feels fake as hell. <laughs> what are you doing in my jewelry? And where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh, yeah. This is like bubblegum shit. It's going in the garbage. I don't want to mix stuff. Hey, another stacking ring, Lori. <laughs> One of these is a damn diamond. So I'm telling you, I'm going to find it. Watch your dog. Watch your dog's ears. That's it. I found it. This is the diamonds. This one stays with me. Yay. Found it. I told you I had one with, with diamonds, Lori. It wasn't lying. Maybe this will be the same size. This has got gold inside, which tells me it is rubbed off what is going on why are these weird rings mixed in with my good rings yeah this is just garbage i'll test it but um no here's another one this one though has a place for the ring to sit and this thing needs clean these look like diamonds, but I think I checked them before and they weren't. But they're cut like diamonds. That flat top. Look, bonehead. Come on. Nope. Oop. Nope. It's another. <laughs> it's another band. It's just another stackable. This one has a place there for like your stone or whatever to sit right i'm just starting this at a dollar oh i put starting bed with nothing how about that i just do a dollar it is sterling i'm gonna say the glass i don't know i kept beeping So, yeah, it's to sit with, oh, a size would be great, wouldn't it? It's eight and a quarter. It definitely drops just below that eight, so it's eight and a quarter. I see Angela at two. Angela at two. At dos. Dos, baby. I may move this up, move my camera up, and start doing standing that way i can that way i can do standing and sitting so i'm not just sitting for so long for so long Oh, 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 did I just find the earrings? Angela, look what I have. I have your earrings. Those are yours. The little earrings. Told you I'd find it. That's the thing. I misplaced things, but they do show up. 
Where are we at? Angela, four. Okay, I'm gonna call this for Angela. Going once, going twice. And so the Angela at four. And they can share a home. Can't you share a home? Sure you can. There we go. This is a really pretty inlaid ring. Oh, it's a size five. Yeah, if it's a true five, too. Because it fits my true five. It doesn't even fit my puffy five. True size five. And it's inlaid with turquoise chips. Three point, I picked up two soon. 3.57 grams. So, you know the deal. We'll start at three. Size five. And that same markings in here. Smooth as butter. It's got something in there. It's a dot. <laughs> it's so weird. It is. It's a dot. A shader ring. I just sit down so I can see. So it's really pretty. Little um, turquoise chip inlay. It's a true size 5 though. A true size 5. Looks hand done. It's not exactly perfectly symmetrical, is it? It's cute. It's cute. I see Lori is at nine. Oh, yeah, it's tiny. I see Angel's back at ten. This is precious. I think that was it for the rings. I had some earrings, some necklaces. I need to find something to stick up for a dollar so I can take a walk about. And go potty. Lori's out. I'm having to undo these chains to get them free from each other. I've got a tangle going on. I have a tangle. Oh man, just let me have this chain and I'd be happy. It's a Verme chain. It's this Ross Simons. I've shown this before. I think I've shown everything before. That's why we're clearing it out. Okay, so Angela at 10. Thank you, Angela, and thank you for your bids. That's a pretty ring, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put this up at a dollar and take a break, take a walk. This is Ross Simons. This is 18 inch. It is Verme. It's vintage Ross Simons. And it sounds crazy, but it's old enough now to be. It is rose gold over sterling spring ring clasp. With all the gemstones. You've got all the usual suspects here. So you've got your citrine, your amethyst, your tanzanite. Your peridot and your garnet and your I don't know it's probably sapphire these are lab created you know that with um, Ross Simon stuff and this is really pretty really pretty and I'm backwards there we go Very beautiful. 
and I'm going to take a break. So we're going to start this at a dollar, and I'm going to take a walk about, drink some water, just move around a little bit. It's, it's um, yeah, I've been on two and a half hours, so I'll move around a bit and go potty. <laughs> Oh. Where are we? Where are orders at fifteen? Okay. Stay <coughs> orders at fifteen and going once. Going in twice. I'm gonna call that sold. Thank you guys. It's a pretty necklace, huh? I've had that a long time. That goes back to Melly's antique. Um, what was it? Vintage decor and antique store. <laughs> I've had a lot of hats. Worn a lot of hats. Oops. 
My hands are shaky. And I can't take my magnesium. I get too sleepy. Too sleepy. Thank you, guys. Z hand can take a break. All right. This is unusual. This is a true bypass, so you can't adjust this. It's weird. I know, but it's unusual. It's someone doing the tango. They're doing the tango. Where it sits right now, it's at a nine. But again, it's a true bypass, so you can make it smaller or larger. And that one is 6.27 grams. So we'll start at six. Let's see, Lori at six. You can see where you can adjust it. They have good form, right? Good form. Okay, so Gloria at six on that. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, I can't do this by weight. But I can still start low. Really? Well, it adjusts, so it should be able to fit somebody. I'm going to call this for Lori. People that do it love it. They used to have a ballroom dancing. Down. Now it's like um, an acting studio for teenagers, I think. No, thank you, Lori. Well, that would be an unusual gift for them. I'm sure they probably haven't seen anything like that. I hadn't until that was in this group of jewelry. I'm digging into the box here. What do we got? We have a toe ring, a single earring, two single earrings. I was trying to match earrings up. <laughs> and I had grabbed separately at separate times and ended up with these two, but <laughs> they're totally different. They're singles. And there goes the toe ring. Oh, these were a thing. The toe ring. What else is in this box? Anything interesting? Yeah, you're interesting. Another single earring. What are you? Okay. All right. So we got this little toe ring. It's saying it's a four. Okay. So it's a four little toe ring. And this, does this say something? Oh, it has the Mars um, symbol at the top, and then the um, Aries ram at the bottom. So I guess they're, that's their ascendant and their sun sign, I guess. So if you are an Aries with um, Yeah, it's pretty user specific here. All right, let's call those. <laughs> let's say we didn't. Don't. I'm come to the end of the sterling that I can do at weight. That's for sure. Here, here's some little earrings. Everything is pretty big that's left. All right, these are really pretty. These are tiger's eyes, sterling silver. They look very bali. Very bali, bali, bali knees. Oop, oop, oop. Very pretty, tiger's eye. 
and they're not super dinky. I'm going to measure it with the hook, okay? <clears throat> so, with the hook, it's a little over one and a half inches long with the hook. They are 6.44 grams, so we'll start these at four. <laughs> I'm, that looks like it's a mercury sign above there, so I don't know. Um, the only thing I can assume is that it must be a sun sign and an ascending sign, but that would depend on which way you wear the ring, too. If you flip it, whichever way you flip it. <laughs> These keep getting hung together. So Sterling, Tiger's Eye, look very Mexico, don't they, with all that beadwork. I was thinking Bali, but I don't know. Could go either way, right? Look at the play in that stone. The Chetoyans, he looks a little bit odd for Tiger's Eye. Are you Tiger's Eye? Yeah, <laughs> they are. Really pretty shine on that. I see Sharon at five. Get my shaky hands a break and give you guys a break from my shaky hands. I see Sharon at five. Orders at six. Sharon Hoarders is at six first. I need you at seven or better, honey. Sharon's at seven. They are pretty. Yes, this is a balik. <laughs> Saucer. <laughs> You know, I have a Balik first black mark. It is so old. It is like see-through. I have the cup and the saucer. I can't find a first black mark. Mine's the only one I've ever seen. Um, here's a hoarder's heavens. At, I mean, excuse me. Is that eight? I said heaven. It's haven. <laughs> Let me see. I have to scroll up. Uh, any bugs or spiders? I have one bug. I have one bug. The only spider I have is in my jewelry box. Uh, I have one bug. I love this bug. I see Hoarder's Havens at eight on these. I love this bug, though, Jeff. I do. <laughs> Hmm. All right, we'll call these for hoarders. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your bid, Sharon. i show you my bug. It's only out because I was wearing it. <laughs> oh, is that eight? Oh, a big bag for you, but okay. He was out because I was wearing him. He's custom, but he's old, probably 50s. He's so cool. He's a beetle. See all the little stones in his body here. And then he's carrying a gemstone in his mouth here. He's carrying a piece of crystal. And that's glass. He's little. It reminds me of those, um, no, honey, because I've been doing the auction, so no, I didn't. If it's urgent, I will. I assumed it wasn't urgent. But, yeah, it reminds me of those bugs. They were taking the real live bugs and decorating them and wearing them. They started making costume ones now, but this is way before then, but still, I thought it was cool. Anybody wants my bug? I'm starting him at 15. 
He's old. He's cool. He's a neat one. And yeah, this is all enamel and all those stones. He's carrying that little crystal, and then this is glass. Jeff's taking my bug. It is cool, isn't it? That's a good one. Yes, he's been on my lapel many a time. As I wear a lot of button-up shirts, so he lives he lives on my lapel quite often. I've had this a long time. It's weird that it was out and you asked for a bug because it was out because I was wearing it. I think I showed it one time before, a long, long time ago. <sighs> hey, Patricia, I did not see you. I saw Jeff say your name. I'm like, I had to look up. My vision's so bad, I had to look twice. And you're in there twice. And you're bright blue because, hey, you have a wrench. So it carried over from whenever on YouTube, right? That's so cool. That's cool. All right, I'm going to call this for Jeff. Jeff's taking my book. May you or the missus wear this in good health. Very nice. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. I want to find this other earring. Maybe it's with the necklace. <clears throat> okay, so I have the necklace. Well, I thought that was the earring, but it's not. Because here's the earrings. This is all sterling, garnet, <clears throat> pearls, onyx. Very long. This is hand done. So it ends here with this bead cap. And this is how you put this. I take it down to the to the bead cap one so that this is dangling. So I bring it all the way up to this one. When I wear it, I wear it like that. Really pretty. It's nice. So that's all. It's garnet, onyx. All this is sterling. Every little bead, every little thing, it's all sterling. And make sure these are actually garnet and not glass. They're beautiful. They're shining like crystals, though, not like garnets. They're shining like crystals. Yeah, they're crystals. They're not garnets. But this is onyx. Okay. So that's red crystals, not garnet. It was too red. It was flashing too red. Like, yeah. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sterling. A lot of sterling. So over the head. What's nice about this one, too, because the way it's made, you can bring this up as high as you want to. You know, you can bring that up and have it maybe it's like a true, uh, you can't really say lavalier, but kind of like a wide necklace. Anyway, because it opens, it's easy to, to wrap it. It's easy to wrap it. I actually prefer to go the other way with it and do it this way so that my dangle's in the front. So when you put it together, so I end up there with the, um, with the dangle in the front. I'm glad you like the bug. This is a lot of sterling. Onyx. Red crystals. It's 
gorgeous. It does have the little earrings, these little onyx earrings. Nice and chunky. The stuff is well made. This artisan stuff, those are really nicely done. These are good materials, good artistry. And they really do excellent work. And you've got pearls in here as well. I bought that from Gina ages ago. I wanted, I think I got two pair of earrings with it because these don't exactly match, but they they don't actually. Never mind. That's a different one. That's a different necklace. 53.88 grams. And it is a little mostly sterling because every element that you see. All of these, the beads, these little ones, these, even the little tiny balls, all of these, this stuff, all of it is sterling. It's beautiful. So, <laughs> two at a dollar a gram. Oh, it will include your earrings, too. <clears throat> That's a good price. I actually paid more than that, obviously, for this, but I got to wear it. It's a little heavy for me now. Obviously, it's almost two ounces, but um, they can wear it for a little while, just not too long. It's easy because of the hoop. Easy wear. Ah, uh, you can just wear it long. Really nicely done. I'm like falling in love with it. Oh, there's are you more red crystals? Are you just yeah, more red crystals? Nobody loves it as much as I do, huh? Uh, maybe I need to wear it again. Yeah, I just need to start wearing it again. It is cool. I'm going to bring it up higher. There. Yeah, you think? I do wear a lot of pink, honestly. Right, I'll put the earrings back in the little bag. I should bag it. I should be a good kid. It'll end up back in my bedroom. Back in a jewelry box. Next time I show this, I'll sit down and rub all the parts. <laughs> I'll rub all the silver parts. Oh, excuse me. Oh. I was taking a nap. My hubby woke me, woke me up. I'm like, when you're sleeping, I never wake you up. Why did you wake me up? And there wasn't even a good reason. He didn't want anything. He just woke me up because, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. He didn't hang around. <laughs> we didn't discuss it. I don't know what he was doing. There's some weird stuff. Yeah, it's great. Show us weird stuff. Go ahead. It is. Though. I'm down to some really crazy, just, you know. I'm at the end here. Some real random stuff. Real random stuff. Some real nice stuff, too, though. Okay. This, I don't know. I found one like it, and it had a lid, and it was a bubble blower. I don't see anything in here. Like, there's no um, threads in here for something to be screwed in. You wouldn't think it would be a cork. A cork is kind of kind of weird, right? I don't know, but it does have the. high heel no i don't have any heels i had i have one but it's not really a high heel it's um 
Kenneth Lane. It's no, it's it's a heel with like flowers on it. It's as clean as I was getting it. Okay, it is marked. I did find it, but it was a bubble blower. CQ. So I don't know. actually. I, I don't know if anybody can do anything with this. Where is the charm? Good night, Sharon. Oh my God. Well, be good. Take care of that. Oh my God. Get some rest. I'm so sorry. Wow. That always freaks me out. Putting my garden gloves on. Yeah, when I wear them. Anyway, I just, I don't know. I don't know that it had a lid. I don't know. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, because it has this, right? So I'm thinking, oh, that could like go in your pocket and you could put your boutonniere in there. <laughs> Obviously not, but that's where my mind went. It's just a funky little thing. You can hang it. You can clip it. I don't know if it was a bubble blower or not. Oh, it's going to scrap. It's got good weight. <laughs> it's going to scrap. Oh, Ashabelle, okay. They're rare? No, they're not, honey. In Florida, no, they're not rare. Those little spiders get you all the time. So those little bitty, bitty ones. So they're not that rare. They bite you in your sleep down here. This just says Italy. And in the yard, yeah, she got into something where they were nesting. I have trouble, like, because of the moss and just the nature of Florida. L mites, little teeny, they're like a, they're like a speck of dust. They're just like smaller than a grain of salt. They're just a dot. And they're red. And they're little bitty mites. Well, the black widows, you can tell because they have the red hourglass. And they're usually around moisture. Like, if you've got like say a tap outside and it drip and there's wood and the stuff about where they could get it's going to be around that humidity they like humidity anyway ash bell there you go sweetie <clears throat> Let me just get some more paper. <clears throat> Gift. <laughs> For you. All right. This is cute. This is actually on a bracelet. It looked really stupid. It just did. It just, it just hung wrong. It didn't look right. So I stuck it on a chain. And it says 925 ATI China. ATI is just a distributor. They're not a maker. That's at least 20 inches. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. 22 inches. Actually, it's going a little bit further. Hang on. Did I read that wrong? I could have. I'm going to say it's 24 inches. 23 makes zero sense. So 23 inch chain. 24, 23. Lobster claw. Heart. It's not puffy. It's a nice strong chain. So as it focuses. It's a nice chain. And that is 10.36 grams. So, 10. Leona. Ooh, the funnel spiders. Yeah, that's, oh my gosh. He, he lived. Do they have the serum? I see, Lori, it's at 10. 
It's a nice long chain, Lori. The chain's worth <laughs> probably 30, right? <sighs> My God. And that little, the way they must have swollen up, it must have been horrific. Hey, Mel, you made it back. Molly's in at 14. I guess you're saying something attacks if they get cornered. Yeah, I've had spiders run at me, like dead at me. I see uh, Lori's at 15. Not poisonous. I have never been bit by a poisonous one. I've been bit plenty of time by just little random spiders. Let's see, hoarder is at 18. That's wonderful, Leona. You got to be on your toes living in Australia. I mean, I think Florida is bad, but not compared to Australia. Australia is just like probably 10 times more poisonous and venomous creatures. And not to mention, you just can have a kangaroo come randomly beating on your door. 23 inches, hoarder. I said 24 because I'm thinking it is. It's just because it's curved here and I'm measuring the drop. So it's probably 24. See, hoarder is at 20. Yes, you certainly do. Like the, um, what's the black snake? The mamba? Don't you have the mamba? The Black Mamba, that's you too. I like this veil. Did you guys notice this? I like this nice double crisscross. Like an X, like a kiss. Nice veil. Melanie's out. I see hoarders at 20. Lori's out. Okay, I'm going to start calling this for hoarders. Going once, going twice. Let's go. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for your bids. Appreciate it. That's pretty. It was a waste on that bracelet. It looked just ridiculous. It was on. It was on. It was on this. These screw off. And it was on this. It just looks. It looks stupid. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not doing that. We don't like that. So thank you. Well, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't freak out over spiders or snakes. I make sure they are venomous before I kill them. I have a lot of black snakes, rat snakes. I haven't seen a corn snake in a long time. The birds get them before they can get very big. I have a lot of black snakes, though. Green snakes in the heat of the summer, they, they come around. This is nice. This just feels like butter, guys. This was in that auction um, that had those Tiffany pieces in it. Just says 925. And then it says Mexico. Inside inside the bale you got to look inside your bales i had a sagin piece i owned it for years and years and years and years i never knew it was sagin was clean it just happened to notice inside the bale it was a mark this is so pretty it feels so good i really expect this to be a designer because it's just so nicely done i mean just the texture the motion of it it's just feels nice it really feels nice oh my god look how bad this has gotten sitting in here it's like putting green i'm such a bad kid i will take you upstairs and clean you oh my gosh i'll put it <laughs> oh my goodness gracious I may have to drop that in some Tarnix. Honestly, it looks so bad. Here, here's a newer one. And that's my big one-ouncer, too. 
<laughs> oh, I meant to weigh this. Shoot. Shoot, yeah, shoot. And we're at 14.3. Oh, good. Good. Well, what was this again? I already forgot. 14.3. Mmm. <laughs> Light's just too much. I see Patsy's in. 14. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And the texture is what you think when you're looking at it. It's so soft. It's soft. It feels really buttery. It's nice. It just feels nice. It's like a little tit, huh? <laughs> Remember Madonna's cone bra? That's Madonna's bra. <laughs> it's a shell. It's a shell. See, it's a shell. <laughs> my bad but i can't help it i'm sure other people saw it too at least it's a cute tit <laughs> not like mine it'd be upside down <laughs> and my age are more like this upside down <laughs> they're, they're looking around <laughs> 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 I see Lori at 19. And orders at 22. Thanks for your bids, Patsy. I missed you last night. I ended up watching Steph, but I fell asleep during her show, too. I saw a little bit of it. I see Lori at 23. It is really pretty. Even the back. I imagine that feels really good against the skin, too. I see hoarders at 25. Yeah. It's a little big on my neck. It does clasp, but not enough to save me. So it's a little bit bigger torque. If I need a torque, I can bring this torque. I see hoarders at 30. I thought this was going to be a cabana. I really did. I thought this was going to be a cabana piece. It looks like a cabana piece, which is Native American. This is Mexican. Mexico. Really substantial bail on that, too. It is beautiful, isn't it? It just is. It's really well done. I really thought this was going to be a designer. I like the way they oxidize some of it. It just gives it dimension. No, the necklace is not. The torque, no, I just grabbed it to show it. I'll bring the torque up, though. I can do the torque very inexpensively. It is sterling. As I got it at a really good price, so. Okay, hoarders is out. I'm gonna start calling this for Lori. Lori, I assume you want me to go ahead and ship this week. You can email me after I invoice you. Just let me know what you want to do. Either way is fine. I'm trying to save an angel a bunch of money because <laughs> she was still buying other pieces. And then I took, I thought I had even invoiced her in my hand. And, and then it was like, I'm going to wait because we have another auction. Thank you, Lori. So she's got a big box and she only paid the initial five bucks ship. So she's getting a big old box. So, because I don't charge additional shipping if you come buying stuff, I just do the five bucks. If I know it's really heavy to begin with, I'll calculate it, but usually I'll even cut you a break on that, too. I showed this last week. Um, this is a medallion. It looks like it's got age on it, but it could just be this color of this silver. Um, it's Madonna, Mother Mary on one side, Jesus on the other. 
it is Mark Sterling. The chain, I picked it up. It's a dot dash chain. I liked it. And I thought the texture was as close as I was going to get to anything that was going to. Because I don't want shiny because this is very matte. So I thought the chain didn't take away from it. Didn't. It's more utility. So that, that one, that's a really nice chain. I like those little dot dash chains. It's 10.5 grams. I keep, we'll keep doing it. Okay, the torque. How about, um, I'll put it up. I'll do it and buy it now on that, so. So this is 10. Oh, let me get a link on that chain. It looks like it's 18. Let's see. Hmm. Yep, 18 inches. Oh, this has something written on the bail. Nine two five Mex. So this is Mexico, and that's on the bail of the medallion itself. I see Rosa at ten. I'll give you a good look at the medallion. See those at fourteen. Uh, yes, I did. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, my neck today. I cleaned it. It needed it desperately. It's pretty, huh? It is pretty. Anyone want to see antiques? Antiques? Bling bling. This is so pretty. The hummingbird with the flower. It's an old stamped brass one. The clasp has been replaced. Old C clasp. No, actually, it hasn't been replaced. Okay. I see Rose at 17. Oh, these are so pretty. Tomorrow will be a good day of vintage. I wish I had a way to let some people know. Collectors need to come. Rosa, I still have these. I haven't listed them. I like them so much. The necklace is too heavy, but the ring's a little big, but I, I can manage. I quit wearing it around. I see Laura at 18. Remember that? All the Jasper matches and all the pieces. There's no squeezing it, really. It's not bad. I can wear it. The necklace is too heavy, so maybe I'll... No, it's not. Nope, not hollow, babe. Let me show you. Hang on just a sec. So no. More solid. I see Lori at twenty one. I hate to break them up, but I might have to. This is just too heavy for me to wear. But it kills me how they kills me I 
I'll list it as an outrageous price so I can keep it. Hey, Kirsten. I'm going to start calling this for Lori. Yeah, Kirsten, I was seriously thinking about splitting up the set. The one that they all match. This is so heavy. I think it's from, no, I think it's Danish, but it's not marked as such. I know everything's marked. It even has the ring. So all of it is the same, from the same stone. All of them. Two. Cool. But it's just, the ring's way big. But I could wrap it with that silicone stuff. I don't know. I haven't had the heart to even list it yet. I think I will and just make it exorbitant. Just make a crazy price. And wear it. And just start wearing it. Alright, I'm going to call this Lori. Thank you guys for your bids. Lori, that's a really pretty medallion. It looks like it's got some age on it, too. It does, it does. Okay. Uh. Come on, fingers. You know you want to work. There you go. All right. All right. This is, I'm going to assume this is turquoise. It looks like turquoise. It's called like turquoise. This is sterling. I don't know if they carried this on to the chain or if this is just. Well, I see they have a pincher here. Looking for a gap where I can see what it's strung on, but so far, no go. It looks like that coated string. Yeah, the one that almost looks like it has plastic over it or something. It looks like clear over it. But yeah, this is Sterling Findings and it's turquoise. It's a little wonky. You need to heat it up. Just put it, blow it with your blow dryer. Sometimes just the heat of your body can do it. You can relax it enough. Or not. <laughs> so turquoise, Sterling Findings. Uh, I'm going to start low, real low. It probably would shine up. Cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> I was watching Tess earlier. Because Jason had mentioned her a while back. And I've watched a few of her um, where she goes sourcing videos. She's a trip. She's so funny. I was watching her auction while I was eating dinner. It's pretty. Hmm, Angela, it's not bad. Feels nice and cool on your neck. Nice and cool. What is this? Just the chain. Nothing but the chain, man. These are funky little earrings. I'm hitting the bottom, guys. I'm hitting the bottom. I'm coming up to my giant stuff. Which I can't do at weight. Sorry, this is a little tangled. Just a tad. I don't even understand how it got this way. I don't understand how this happened. If I can't get you out, how did you get in there? Huh? Answer me, sir. This is bizarre. Let me compare these two to see what I'm doing wrong. I'll have to hold this one up. Now it's getting stuck. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it goes like this. So you go. Yeah, you don't need to be there. I don't know how you, how in the world you got in there. There we go. You're free now. What's going on with you? 
this is bent. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I just can't even understand what is happening with this thing. I bought these as sterling, turquoise, gemstones. It is 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 I couldn't wear them. I couldn't get the wires through my big ears. So where were we? Angela. Oh, this. I'm like, what was it? <laughs> I got so sidetracked trying to get that loose. <laughs> Congratulations, Ange. That's pretty. That's been around a while. That would be 10 on that. I'm going to show this. I don't know what the silver content is. It's old. This is antique. This is um, nephrite and jade. It is a donut. This is antique. It's all jade and nephrite. And it's got the dragons. They're both after the sphere here. So see, there's your one dragon. It's his head. His body's up here. And then here's the head of the other one, and the body up here, and then it's got your butterflies and flowers, and and it's heavy. It's heavy, and this one. Any, I mean, the thing is, I this is what I paid for, it, and I've owned it a long time. I sold it once, but I opted not to complete the transaction. It was, you know, it shit happens. I don't mind working with people, but just be upfront with me and just tell me the truth don't just jerk me around so it was so it's amazing i've never bothered to put a jumper on it. i mean it's too heavy if i put it on a cord or something it'll hang on my bedpost i have all this big big really chunky big stones like jade and obsidian and just wild tribal stuff hanging on my bedpost he'll be there too if he ever falls though, it'll knock me out it's heavy it's heavy. Come on. 72.59 grams. It's heavy. Heavy. Did I finish emptying out the piece of amethyst? A sterling silver thimble. Mmm. Chains, which I don't know which ones are sterling and which ones are not. Buddha, what are you doing in there? All right, that's a good chain. That's my chain. This is that weird thing. This is a good chain. This must be me changing chains and tossing them in a cup like a bad kid. This, I'm sus. This is a good one. That one's mine. So these chains are good. This one's good. This one, I don't think so. Oh, wait. I bought a, I have a costume one of these and I bought a real one because I had the real ring and I wanted to buy the real jewelry. Yeah, this is the real one. This is Topaz. Now, where's the earrings? Now that I've got the necklace, where's the earrings? This is a hopeless tangle. It's staying there. Anyone want a Balik saucer? <laughs> that doesn't go there. All right, let's do these earrings. I got these from Cat the Nurse Flipper on Whatnot. Sterling, Little Agate, and Little 
turquoise calves at the bottom. I just couldn't get them, these wires to my ears. They're funky. They're very funky. They're very thin. Just funky. So we're passing on the giant. I had to show you the donut. I thought, oh, sure, maybe someone collects that stuff. I don't know. So on these earrings, you know, I'm just going to start these. They probably don't weigh a gram. <laughs> Seriously, they, they're, they're just wire, pretty much. They're just wire. Trust me, I paid more than a dollar for them. But, <laughs> yeah, sometimes people show stuff on, on there like this, and you think the earrings or something's a lot bigger than what they are. These actually, though, are fine. They're fine. Wow, they're 7.9 grams. <laughs> well, shut my mouth. I guess they are really busy, though, aren't they? <laughs> what if that's amber? I wonder. I wonder. And it's not. It is not amber. So it's probably carnelian. Orders is it too? You're sweet. <laughs> She's like, I, I give you two bucks. <laughs> But yeah, she's got a bunch of silver on now, but I haven't bought anything else at whatnot. I haven't had good luck. I haven't had good luck with what I get. And it gets away from you. Okay. Okay, it's two dangles and then the bottom. Is it the thing hanging off the end here? Okay, stone, 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 stone. Stone, 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 stone. What am I missing? I'm trying to see. I don't see anything. I see that one. Let me take a close, close look at this one, see if I notice any difference. It would help if I was focused first. Oh, the metal around this thing. Oh, it's up here. Hang on. It's flipped around. Look, it's up here. What is it doing up here? It got flipped around. Oh, okay, I see this. Okay. Thank you, honey. There. Now it's there. It was flipped around up here, so now it's there. Uh, please turn around. So now they both have their little cage. Oops. Thank you. Me too. I'm glad that was there. They are pretty. They're different. Oh. Okay, where are we? Hoarders at seven. Steph is out. Okay, I'm going to start calling these for hoarders. Going to hoarders once, hoarders twice, and sold to hoarders at seven. Thank you, and thank you for your bids, guys. I don't have time to order bags for tomorrow. I'm going to go to the head shop. Of course, probably not open on Sunday. At the box, I'll have to go ahead and start bag boxing up everybody's stuff. You know, part of the problem, I was lazy, and, well, I know, like, Lori likes to have her descriptions and or prices in there, but... I was lazy and just sent a lot of stuff in the bags. I love this Buddha. It's mine. I wore that forever. I'm surprised he's in there. I don't remember this chain, so I don't have the stuff right here to test it, and it doesn't look sterling to me. Looks plated. 
this one I know. This is mine. That this was what this was on, actually. Yep. It's a nice long chain, too. As I wore him long, I wore him down here. He's a nice Buddha. Very nice. A lot of weight. Here's just the Buddha. He represents peace and serenity with strength and bravery. That's why you've got the Buddha with the dragon is wrapped around him. It's the symbolic of coexistence and, yeah, possessing that peace and serenity, but yet fierce and strength. It's a thing. He's fantastic. This is a nice long chain. This is the chain I had. I wear him on, so I'll put him on it. I'm not gonna do a. I'm not gonna do a dollar gram on this. No. I'll be very reasonable, obviously, but I can't do a dollar gram. Both these pieces are very nice. The chain is extremely nice, and the pendant, obviously, is really, really cool. Spring ring clasp. Really nice chain. It's the twist with the diamond cut. Really nice chain. Long. But it looks good. And I always liked it because I can throw it over my head and just wear him. I swear the Buddha. I might just wear the Buddha. He had to forgive me. I don't think I'm just going to wear the Buddha. All I got left is chains, guys. Chains, chains, chains. And some antiques. This is Victorian, obviously. This is 9 karat gold. And yes, I buy specifically 9 karat gold test. You can order it. You can order the... Um, I found it weird, though. I couldn't order the 12. I was able to get 9 karat. I can get 15 karat, but I couldn't get 12. Which I thought was weird. Because 12 is really common. With fill and stuff. So it is 9 karat. Beautiful carb shell cameo. I forgot. I forget when Dana dated this. Because um, she looked at my cameos and gave me her opinion on them. And plus what I knew. I love that fruit basket. The detail. Look at, the, look at the, her dress. Look at the flowing fabric. This is exquisitely done. The detail on this. Because cameos, cameos are cameos, but no, it's not true. you got to look at the quality of the carving. How clear is it? What are the, you know, how are your details? And I really want to focus. And the details on this are great. It's obviously a shell. Ah, wrong one. Oh, my battery's about dead. It's obviously a shell, but there you go. Yeah, I need new batteries. So it opens because of Victorian, you know, it's short. Because they wore high, you know, this this was before the onset of, any, of the deck or anything. So the, the, their dresses were still very high. So this is literally a choker. I think it's just like 15 inches. It opens in the front. It's There's a slide lock. This is a slide lock. Okay. So it just has a little press button right there. See that? That's just a little pin. You just press that. Let me get it two hands on this. There we go. Press that and it pulls out. Oh, there's your pin. And this clicks in there. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm like looking around like where'd my tape measure go? Alrighty then. 
yeah. This is actually looks. I'm not to open it. It's just saying 14 inches. Yeah. I don't know why her channel name just blanked on me. Completely blanked on me. This is built on. So this is not going to come off. Okay. This is soldered onto the piece. So I'm going to get a link to it this way. I'm going to do the full length. Because it was showing me 14 inches at that drop. Which it is a true choker. I mean it's the age. That's how it was worn. High up on the neck. Because that's where the clothing was. That's how it was. It is literally, it's like 14 and a half inches. So it's short. It's very short. Oh, but it's doable big time. Now, if I can just find the hole. Yeah, it's not horrible. I just can't get over the detail of this cameo. I've got a couple really nice cameos. Um, I mean, the detail in their clothing, how the layers of fabric are hanging. It's just, I know I'm going on about it, but the quality of the carving in this piece is really good i mean this is really good really good i love the folds in her dress it's just yeah killer queen thank you <laughs> thank you yeah she has the most amazing jewelry oh my gosh i could go so broke there i could have a second mortgage all right i'm gonna start this one really low as I can afford to. I've had it a long, long time. I haven't worn it in forever, ever. I have, have worn it in the past, but I just haven't worn it. Um, 65. This is 9 karat gold. Solid. I'll try to weigh it without the cameo. I'll just have to lay it off to the side. So basically, at that price, the cameo part's damn near free. It's like four and a half grand, so I'm going to say it's... Kirsten knows what it is. Yeah, the gold weight alone, but I know you're not going to screw with the gold. You even got the sweetest little details there. On that handmade little, what I guess you could call a bale, huh? Definitely Victorian. I paid three hundred dollars, and there's this cameo, the ten carat gold one that Stella got. I have one that's a fresco. It's big with all the Greek gods and the horses and the clouds. I got that one, Sterling, and I've got another one. That's another face. Is that one, Sterling? I don't know. So I had all three of those for three hundred bucks. Plus, there was a whole bunch of other jewelry. That one at one time was selling for three thousand dollars, and now it's down to like eight, nine hundred dollars. I'm going to start calling this for Kirsten because it's the required taste. Need to be a collector. All right, sweetie. I'm glad you got it, sweetheart. You got a really good deal, and I'm happy that a friend got it that's going to really love it. Talk on it. This paper's sticking together again. Who cares? Okay. This is weird. I guess this was meant to be. Oh, never mind. Look, me and Ms. Knott's. 
I have no patience. <laughs> Trying to see if there's anything that's not just necklaces. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. It's another little twist chain. I put it on this chain. It, I bought this necklace, this cross, just for the... And Tanya won the cross, and she's like, oh, I'll email you, and then she never did. I bought it because Dina had it on this chain. She had the cross on this chain, and this had a dent in it, but I picked it out. But I adore the chain, and it's lightweight. I can wear it. So that's why I bought the cross on that chain. I don't want the cross, so I put it on a different, on a different chain. Okay, so here's the cross. <laughs> Fourteen carats over thirty grams, Jeff. Check your spot prices. Oh, ten carat. Yeah, yeah, ten carat. Yeah, so I'm saying sixty-five. It's over three grams. All right. So here's your cross. It's big. I got this from that girl Dina Marie, but I didn't want the cross. I wanted the chain. I got the chain. <laughs> so now I'm selling the cross. It's ornate equally on both sides, the same. I put it on this twist chain, and I think this is 18 inches. 18 inches, pretty sure. I thought the twist went well with all the, you know, yeah, 18 inches. I thought it went well with all the patterning on this, that this should have some type of something. Some type of something. Something, something, something. Zero out, dude. Zero out. It is 12.69 grams. I'm not going to lose my mind, though. I'll start at 15, which is stupid low, but... Oh, let me tell you how big the cross is. I got the chain. It's what I wanted. So, it's... Cross is two and three quarters inches long... By just shy, well, one and three quarters inches wide. This is beautiful. Beautiful, down and beautiful. I got another cross up there somewhere. It's like Avalon. It's like Sterling and Avalon. It's, I don't know where it's at. I can't find it. I have so much jewelry that is still like in my A because I just have so much stuff, guys, that I tend to. Put things in a drawer, put them in a bag. I'll put them away. I put them away, and then, yeah, they're away all right. <laughs> they're away forever. <laughs> I see Lori at 20. It's beautiful, isn't it? I just wanted this. since <laughs> I got it hanging on my big hand over there. I just wanted this big fat chain because it's hollow, so it don't weigh nothing. And it had one of the weird dents in it. I can't even find out where it's at anymore, where it was, because I fixed it. It's risky doing it, but I've done it a few times. So I was successful and got the bump out. Lori's out. I see. Lori Wil Walton is in at 22. I don't think anybody else is in. Someone start calling this for Lori. See? And it's light. I can wear it. I am a concert Lori at 22. It's a great deal. I'm glad you like it. I hope you wear it and it brings you comfort or faith or whatever. Or it's just pretty. Some people do wear them just fashion, right? It's just fashion. I used to wear crosses. I had crazy. I've got, made me so mad. I have a Donna Karen cross. It's in my craft slash wearable jewelry box of stuff to go. Did I even write down? I didn't write it down. It says Lori Walton at 22. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, it's the chain must be 60 inches and it's big, thick metal. It's not, it's just stainless steel. The cross is big it was blackened. Someone tried to clean it, so it's got parts of it just it's just the silver and the black is gone. <laughs> if anything can be done for it, I don't know. I don't know. 
But I'm like, what kind of moron did that? Alright, we know what that is. Oh. Here we go. We had a tray. It was MIA. Oh yeah, the torque. You wanted the torque. That's not it. I laid aside said I'll do it right now for you. It was right here. I set it here to bring it up. Here it is. A snake it would have bit me. Who was it wanted a torque? I don't think it was Ash, but it might have been Horde. It might have been um, Horde or Heaven. Okay, this thing is big on me, but it does it does have the lucky. It is sterling. It's a Mark Sterling. It's also I tested it. It's fine, um, but it does hook. It's just it doesn't really set quite right on me. It's very round. Okay, I can't tell a weight on this. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so um, I'll just do 20 bucks if you want it. I think that's what I paid. It's a good price for a torque. I'm not going to get one cheaper. It's a good torque. <laughs> it's a good one. It is very nice. I wonder if anybody claimed it. I see the 925. I don't think it has a claim to fame. It's a nice one. Okay. Porter's got it. Okie dokie. Don't worry, I pack it with cardboard on either side of it. It won't get bent. Yeah, I picked it up cheap with that in mind, just to flip it to somebody else cheap, because people always need them, and it's fine. It's fine. Okay, what else is in here? That's that religious relic. This torque I don't want to part with. This is gorgeous. Darling, gorgeous. Look at this. Sterling silver. I think is this Sajin? Might be. India. 925 India. And then the T circle. Maybe that's their mark for I think this is Topaz. Uh, yeah, okay. So Topaz and the titanium druzy. Nice big pendant. Gorgeous. Really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I just sold the bracelet. Remember the big fat bracelet? It sold. I had the ring. It sold. So this is the last piece of the jersey that's available is this one. And then what if I should, Doris bought the ring and the bracelet. I should probably offer this to her first, guys, but she has the other two pieces. These I adore. I wore the death out of these things. And they're going to go back in my jewelry box. If they don't sell. For some reason, I was thinking these are other ones that might have been saging, but no, that was the other one. Would we not? Let's see what it says. 925 Mexico T uh, J. Wait, sorry, TV-21. Those shadow box earrings, they are real um, pearls. That is very cool. Very designer. Very unique. Clearly. This was artisan done. Really nice earrings. They really look good on too. This is really classy. They're kind of minimalist, but they're just yeah, they just have that look. They look good. 
they look good. They just do. They're definitely a classy earring. They just look good. Very couture. Oh no. Well, you came off. You should go right back on. It's like, no, it was a fluke. Yeah, I'm seeing that it was a fluke. If I can get you back on, I'll tighten you up, dear. There we go. There we go. I just had to close up. It's all right. Very nice earrings. It's 10.62 grams. I'll start them at 12. Yeah, it's good deals. It is. Well, some people let me know, like, their paydays and stuff. I do work with people. I have some people that it's Thursdays. It doesn't, you know, some people it's, you know, the end of the month. It, you know, everybody's different. Yeah, every 15 days. It's just everybody's different. Those that buy a lot, a lot of resellers. Those are really pretty. Lori, these are really good. These are good earrings. These are nice. They are just, yeah, they're very minimalist. They're understated, but they're, yeah, they, yeah, very tasteful. Very nice. They look good on. Get good presents. They're cute as a button. I'm going to start calling these for Lori. And so I'm going to say going once for Lori, going twice for Lori. That's a steal on those earrings, but I've had them for a long, 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 long time. I've worn them a lot, a lot. So I used to wear, I still do wear pearls. Not as much as I did, but I still do. So, I love them. Speaking of pearls, where's the other earring? Don't see it. Ooh, why aren't you? Oh my god. I forgot I bought this. Year of the Dragon and all that. Oh my lord. Yes, yeah, this is rose gold, sterling diamonds. Oh yeah, this is a nice piece. I'm looking for the maker. I might have to Google image it because it's yeah. I need to research this again. Remember who with the details on this, but yeah, this is an amazing piece. I bought this outright, like this piece by itself, because of the dragons. I'm gonna slip this on a chain so I can show it to you. I don't remember even what I paid for it, to tell you the truth. I mean, I obviously got a deal. I always get a deal. But, yeah, I do remember that it's rose gold. It's got to remember if it's solid. I think it is. I think this is actual. No, it's not because it's not gold on the back. Okay, so it's just for me. But it's the two dragons inside the heart fighting. And those are all diamonds. So, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. There's a maker. It's somebody. That's something. I just can't remember what it was. What do we got? Oh, I do all these. I got all these pendants over here. I got this pendant and this pendant. Oh, this is so pretty. It's missing a couple of gemstones, but I wore this to death. I adore this piece. Just haven't worn it. Yeah, this is Bermay. It's bone. 
Let me double check that the chain is vermeil and not gold because I might have stuck it on a gold chain. Let me see. Be still. Yeah. Yeah, this is gold. This is on 10 karat. It's on 10 karat gold. And this is gold. And all these little, all these little gemstones. But there's one missing somewhere. One of the emeralds is gone. That's what it is. It's missing two. There was a stone up here. There's a stone up at the very top. You can't even really see the... You can't even really see the setting for it. But way up here. And then there was three gem, three um, emeralds and one of them is missing. Some bone. All gemstones. 10 karat gold. And it's a 10 karat gold chain. So I'm going to get the chain off. This is too fine. I'd stick my heart on it. I bought that big gold heart that Dina found in that one lot. That 14 karat gold heart. The rose gold heart. I bought it. With that big amethyst in it. <laughs> this does look very rosy though. I think it's too skinny for that heart. Ow. Oh my knee. Oh. This is what I bought from that girl, Dina Marie. It's fourteen carat diamonds, and look at that amethyst. Is that crazy? <laughs> hey, I can spurge on myself sometimes. I don't know. I think that chain's going to be too wimpy. I ordered a chain. I ordered a paperclip chain, and then I ordered another one that's the twist like this, but only fatter. And the rose gold. Not bad. You guys are going to kill me. It's like, first you keep the Buddha. I'll bring the Buddha back. Because I do need that chain. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe I put that on a real gold chain. I did. Here, elephant. I bring Buddha back. And it's like, took your gold. <laughs> I don't sell my gold. I got some. I might sell some earrings. Because they're tiny. I don't wear them. I used to wear my upper holes. I don't, I don't, my holes are closed now. Why am I holding that lap lat? Okay, so we got the Buddha. <laughs> I can tell you right now, the Buddha I paid 65 bucks for, and that was probably 15, 20 years ago. 14 grams. Isn't that hard to die for? Isn't that pretty? It is. It's beautiful. Oh, I paid. <laughs> I paid for it. It's a good deal. Granted, it is a good deal. Because I think her guy told her not, you know, not to take less than six, but I did pay less than six. So I'm happy. And I deserved it. I haven't bought truly anything remotely expensive for myself in a long time. I mean, that's the most expensive piece I've bought is this one. Uh, I might have trouble with this chain because it's so this jump ring is teeny tiny. And the hook is super tiny too. The hole. Yeah, my nails are in the way. 
me put this inside the jewelry box here. All right. So I will do the Buddha. I can't do the dollar the thing. I won't even ask what I paid for it. I'll do 50 for both pieces. I paid 65 just for the Buddha. A good 15 years ago. That's a nice long chain. Beautiful. What was this again? Wasn't this 24 inches? I think. I thunk. I thunk. I thunk. I thunk. Yeah, it's 24 inches. What's it marked? 925 Italy. <laughs> SU. Oh, it's an SU chain. SU. Yeah, it's a good one. Spring ring. No SU chain. Big Buddha. Buddha with the dragon. He won't find one. Isn't it superb? It's just superb. That's why I bought it. I mean, when when she found it, I was watching when she was going through that box and she found that piece. I was watching. I loved it then. I adored it then. So when she did bring it for sale, it was kind of spur of the moment that I just decided, you know what? I'm going to get it. I really do love it. And I won't be able to touch one for that price because I'm pretty sure it was under, I think it was under 600 for it, which is stupid cheap. I think I'll take it up to um, the jeweler and just let them um, break it down for me. You know, like what's the gold weight, the diamonds, the carrots, and the amethyst carrots and stuff like that. Hershey's Texas. Why do that necklace? Oh. <laughs> hey, Tom, <I'm> getting tired. <laughs> he long. He very long. Let me double him up so you can see him. That's a good price on this. That's a really good price. I know I've been doing a dollar a gram, but I can't with this guy. Uh uh. That's mental. Absolutely mental. I'm as close as I can get. Right, it's one in the morning. It's one o'clock. I got the munchies. Eating chocolate. No, nope. Buddha baby. You stay with me. I'll say I probably have a gold filled chain or something I can get for this. This is 10 carat here, but not much of it. Just the bail on this stuff. And I have gold filled chains. I'll find one. I'll go digging through my gold. Here's some stuff that um, someone was purchasing, but I was concerned because they are elderly and they didn't seem to know what they were doing. So I didn't, I didn't complete it because they didn't understand what they bought. And they were very confused. I'm like, just let's just not do this. <laughs> I'm assuming this is some kind of coral. <sighs> and I'm assuming that's because they cut it. I don't know why it's white in the back. I rubbed this with acetone on camera when I was showing this before. It's not dyed. I put it on this chain. This is a square chain. I don't know what else to call it. Well, Jeff, I'm in Florida, honey. And I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So. I had it and I took my, I took my screen away. It's 12.57. I'm going to turn to a pumpkin. It's pretty cool. Come on. Zero out, doodle. It's 20.86 grams. So 
So we'll go back to my dollar gram. How you go? How you go? There you go. But yeah, I, it's an, it's a weird thing, but you have to do stuff like that. I mean, if you're in business and you're dealing with people and they, something like that comes up, you can't just ignore it. I can't. I'm not going to be like, well, you bought it and I'm just going to send it to you. I know. When they start saying, I don't remember buying that or can I switch this? Then like, no. No. Mm, this is pretty. This is for me. <laughs> a sleep disorder i i can't sleep i have big problems sleeping it's a real it's a real problem i'm looking some earrings of mine somebody wanted that's sterling that's some random stuff So even at a dollar a gram, no go. Uh, I did not get to a giveaway. I always forget to the doggone end, don't I? Yes, no, you do. You always forget to the doggone end. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look at that. English poison bottles. The only bottles I have are, I have a bath water bottle that's old. I don't know if it's antique, might be. Vases, whiskey, little whiskey jugs, old liquor bottles, decanter bottles. The old 50s ones, those big press glass bottles. All right, I'll do this as a giveaway. It's Vermeil. I think it's F-A-S. Let me see. Who are you? Yeah, it's FAS Verme. It is double, but they're twisted. They stay together. It does not unwrap. And it looks like it's 20, maybe 22 inches. The Verme is beautiful on it. And the twist gives it, looks like it's got um, flats on the station, but it doesn't. It's 24 inches. Um, 20. It was a dollar a gram. It was a little over 20 grams. So I did it a dollar a gram. Oh, okay, I got this on, but I put it back on. So this one, okay. We didn't have any interest on that before, so I'm going to go ahead and call this for hoarders at 20. Because I had that up and nobody was interested, so we'll just get that for you. It's a good deal. The chain's worth more than 20, so it's a good deal. It's a very good deal. I'm stealing bags. Stealing bags. Thank you, hoarders. All right, so we're going to do this as a giveaway. i got 18 people. So this is the, the giveaway. It's 20, was it 24 inches? It's vermeil. It's twisted. There are no stations. It's just the way it's twisted that makes it do that shine. It causes the sparkle at the twists. It's the vermeil on it is extremely good. See, it's a nice yellow gold color. All right, so just go ahead and choose a number between 1 and 20. And um, you can choose as many times as you want. So that's for the 24-inch Vermeil chain is the giveaway. So just choose a number between 1 and 20, and you can pick as many times as you like. Ugh. Laura, it's just between 1 and 24, sweetheart. I mean, 1 and 20. <laughs> Sorry. Between 1 and 20. Uh, 
That's so bizarre. And then go back up, make sure I didn't miss it, because it's weird that no one's gone it. There's only 18 of us in here. I'm looking. Ah, there it is. Hoarders got it. It's 18. Hoarders haven't got it. <laughs> I missed it when it went by. Thank you. Thank congratulations. Yeah, it looks like there's stations on there. It's just where it's twisted is picking up. It just picks up a, a really pretty sparkle. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. Congratulations. Very pretty. And you wanted long chains. That's 24 inches. There we go. I'm going to call it a night. It's one. I'm going to take my vape. I'm going to take my magnesium. Hit my vape. Actually, I need to change it to my nighttime stuff. The nighttime stuff is called Moonflower. Yeah, it puts me on the moon all right. But I'm loving this. I'm loving this better than any pills I ever had. I'm really enjoying this. So I really appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to be kind to yourselves out there in the world. Be nice to other people. It can be hard, but it's not really too difficult. I mean, some people you can't. I get it. But a smile, open the door. Oh, I like your shoes or I like your dress or beautiful day, whatever. Good night, Kirsten, sweetheart. I will be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm thinking one o'clock. Night, Ashbell. Thanks for being here, baby. So one o'clock, I'm doing vintage. And I'm going to do some lots, too. How's that? We'll build one because you guys like to see what's going on. And I got some that are really for crafting. But there's also wearable in there. But we'll do all that tomorrow. All right. Good night, guys. Thanks for being here. It was fun. I enjoyed that. A dollar a gram. Now I'm out, though. All right. Take care. I really appreciate you being here. 